Anyway, where we left off last time, you had just met with Orcos, a man clothed in blood red armor, carrying a couple of spears. You had a wonderful uh, sit down discussion, followed by a short battle that, uh, mm, kind of hard to say how that went. But in return for battling with him, you were able to ask some questions and get some answers to some things you wanted to know. And you came out of it also with some coins that are specially enchanted that uh, if you are wounded in battle and, and dropped to the ground, may actually uh, serve to bring you back, at least for a little while. Having continued on the journey after meeting him the next morning, you're traveling in the, the rocky terrain as you make your way downhill towards the uh, Melitus Harbor. And the city of Data, which is where you are hoping to find a boat that is set aside for you. But you've only been traveling on this about a day. And you've got a couple of days more travel ahead of you. As you march along. And Adrastos, he asked some questions that kind of gave him some answers that seem to have given him pause. Not pause, he has those because he's the cat man. But pause is in P-A-U-S-E. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> why am I here? Why, why am I here? <laughs> and uh, therefore, he is kind of hanging back a little ways from the group. Working with his own thoughts. Continually messing with the wraps that are around his hand. Tightening them, loosening them, tightening them, loosening them. What are the rest of you about? I don't know. I feel like Ariana does a lot of traveling, so is probably just used to being on the road, whether it's by themselves or by herself or or with usually with Adrastos. Um, but you know, he gets in a mood, so she's used to kind of dealing with her own self. And probably just wandering along in silence. If we're stopped for lunch, probably you know finds a tree to do some pull-ups and this quick little hit workout. I love it. The only trees you can find, you know, are actually, uh, you know, stretching out over the abyss. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> the leaves are the the limbs are a little weak looking, but you give them a pep talk. You know, you can hold it. Yeah. You can hold me up. Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna hold each other. <laughs> there you go. Hey, that gives me an idea. No, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so the days are fairly quiet as you walk. The there's not a lot of traffic on the path. Uh, this is really the only way in and out of Akros at this point that's a direct path because the other path with the bridge is obviously destroyed from where the Colossus of Akros fell through it down into the, the abyss below. And it, like I said, it's quiet. Uh, not a lot of traffic, not a little animal noise. But... In the middle of the, the third day of your journey, you do come across some people who are walking, making their way up the trail towards Akros. And it's one person up front and then about six people behind. And they all, in sets of two, they have large sticks between them. And there's some kind of a cloth hanging between them. And the cloth is actually dripping water. And Vara, as you approach, the person who's in lead of this little convoy looks familiar to you. Someone you had sailed with previously. Uh, and, but when you had sailed with him, this is a couple of years past, um, first thing you notice is back when you sailed with him, he had two eyes. And two hands. But apparently for some reason that has changed in the ongoing years. And they are about, oh, let's say 300 feet away from you. And are focusing on their walk. And the person in the lead is uh, looking back and forth at them and not really following the trail ahead. He's more keeping an eye. And you hear him shouting, keep them moist. You cannot let them dry out. I'm 
I'm gonna lean over to Tikaros and I, I, I think I know that person. Do you want me to sneak up and see if it really is the person you know? Oh, um, they're not, they wouldn't be dangerous. Um, but uh, I'm just not sure what to do. I haven't, um, I haven't really sailed in, gosh, it's, it's been a few years and I didn't know this person and oh, uh, they knew, me, they knew me when I was like 13. I, I was really Stop. awkward back then. Yes. Stop. You're so much better than this. Just have faith in yourself. You know what? I'm going to hide in the bushes. You go talk to them. And at the first sign of trouble, I'll get you back. Okay. Yeah. You got um, this. All right. And I'll kind of scurry into the bushes. Oh, and we, and as as uh, Tigros is scurrying, I'll kind of look to everyone else in the party and just, um, I I know those people. I'm gonna approach them. They look like they're dealing with something that needs to stay wet, and I'm good at that water. Good at good at keeping things wet. No, I I avoided the phrasing specifically so I didn't say it, but then you said it, so I'm going to leave. I don't see the problem. <laughs> That's what you were saying, isn't it? Far away. And, I, and I, avoided, I avoided the guy saying he had to keep things moist. I was doing my part. <laughs> Vara quickly, like, storms away, and <laughs> it's just like, she had been it's kind a, of It's a team effort this. keeping everything wet. Yep. Yeah, sure. <laughs> she had been mulling over the, the new coins that we got, and she kind of stuffs them into a pouch. And, um, uh, before any of that, can I make an insight check and see if she's flustered specifically only because of what Agrio said, or is there any other reason? As like, is there any, could there be potentially like danger or something like that? I, I'm good with that. And uh, Vara, you get to set the DC on this. Because it's player player thing. So. It's low. <laughs> <laughs> it's twenty three. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um. Well, Vara, definitely, you get a sense of anxiety. Um, not from danger, but just social awkwardness. Nope. So it's like she was already kind of socially awkward, anxious about this encounter, and then she was socially awkward, anxious about that statement, and so now she's just like. <laughs> it's just very in line. It's it's in line with how she usually acts. <laughs> it's it's not a danger okay. anxious. It's just a vara anxious. If that's the case, then I will also I will just be with the rest of the group, kind of watching over from afar. Cool. And Vara will walk up quickly and just um, Xenon. And he'll turn. What? Um. Do I know you? Yes. I don't imagine you've met many people that look like me. And with that, he, he kind of tilts his head sideways a little way with the one eye that actually works and looks at And And he, he, he kind of, he, he looks at you and he kind of, could you kneel down a little, a little? Yes. And she, and she kind of gets smaller and she pulls out her telescope and Vara. Vara. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Ah, ah, it's, it's, it's good to see you. Uh, uh, tell me, um, how far is it, it back to Akros from this point? And did you happen to see any water? Are there oh, like any pools or wells? It's not too far. I think maybe we've done about a day's travel. Um, not not much further than that. I don't recall seeing any water. Um, oh, there was. There's if you find a um statue, there's like a bronze looking statue in there, and there's a there's a pond near um near them. It, it's it's not too far from here. Oh, good, great. Uh, what are you we're... trying to keep wet? I I overheard you a little bit. Oh, um. Well, we understand there are, are many burn victims and and such in the city. And we were bringing oh. in a uh, fresh kelp that we'd pulled from Thassa's garden, and and we were bringing oh. it in to, to keep it. But we've got to keep it moist, or it'll lose its healing properties. Oh, and Thassa. we've been we've been traveling for a day and a half and doing the best we can, but our water urns fell out, fell fell out, and some men went back to fill them. But I don't oh. know if they're going to make it back in time. Well, I think I have at least something um 
let's see. And I, and I kind of reach around and I pull out my, um, just my water skin. I, I have this, um, I don't really need it. Uh, we, we mm. kind of go between water frequently, but, um, let's Are you see. sure? I mean, I, I don't know how, I appreciate it. Any, any help is, is a help, of course, but. Oh, of course. And, um, let's see. Um, do you have any other urns? I know you said some had fallen or dried, but. No. Uh, no, the, they all large. they were all taken back and and to be refilled from the river and brought up. Mm. Normally, of course, we would have just sailed up the river, but back a ways, uh, apparently something's happened. Some rocks have have rolled down from somewhere and they've blocked the stream. Sure, but I'm able to shape water if there's water around, but there isn't really any water around and we don't really have a vessel for it either let me and i'll kind of wave back to my party and um do do we have anything that we can keep water in larger than a water skin oh you're asking uh, that have... xenon's going to turn to his crew and just just keep walking don't stop you know just keep following the trail Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I have my water skin. I'm happy to provide it if it's needed, but I don't have any means to help otherwise. Is there, um, question, uh, if I'm from around this area, is there a closer source of water? And you would know this, and I'm not even going to have you roll for it. Uh, unfortunately not, because again, this road is not traveled all that often. Most people make the trip via boat. A little bit yeah. further upstream so yeah. unfortunately on this side there's not a lot you're in the mountains right well uh there's a sheer cliff that goes down but mm -hmm. down there is where the river is right yes, yes. how far down's the cliff uh quite a ways at this point you you don't Couple even hundred feet yeah more than that oh, okay because i was gonna Way say what's the that. range on shape water um <laughs> Yeah, if yes. you look over the edge, uh, you might be able to make out the difference of, of there being water from the rocks, but it's going to be very difficult at this height. I mean, you're, you're many hundreds of feet up at this point, and right. you're descending, but you've got a ways to go. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I don't know if there's much I can help with. I, I offer my water skin, um, and if, if anyone else would like to do the same, I'd be happy to purchase new ones when we get to our next destination. Uh, this kelp is, is, is truly good stuff. I mean, it's, it's going to do a lot, of, uh, a lot of help for those who are wounded. That is quite benevolent. Does anyone else have water or a water skin they could provide? Oh my gosh, I actually don't. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tikaros so does. Tikaros will bound out of the, kind of happily bound out of the bushes she was hiding and keeping a really close eye on you and go, hey, uh, you can take mine as well. Uh, so uh, one, two, three you. water skins. I will, I will uh, take out um, this small clay flask of Ooh. oil and pour out the oil and just say i don't necessarily have another water skin for you but i do have something else to hold more water if you've managed to find a water source later on well this this is excellent though maybe we can put this under the under the dripping water and, and save what we can that's being wasted exactly. on the gra excellent thank you that'd be great yes and and the the little pond isn't too far from there and, and um uh, yes, there's a statue, and, and um, it's a good place to rest. You'd be safe. You could Excellent. let it soak for a while. Great, great. Um, so, Vara, uh, just keep walking. I, I'd love to catch up, but where where are you headed? What's what have you been doing? I mean, oh, um, I've been a bit land born for a while now. Um, 
I'm just kind of going about my duties and my destiny. Um, uh, well, I haven't seen um, dad in a while and I'm just kind of trying to forge my own path. And um, I think I'm going to go commandeer a ship for a journey. We're, we're going to um, data. To, oh yeah. Uh, I'll be that's captain that's, of the that's dolphin. where we came in. Yeah, the the main harbor off the bay. Um, my my ship is my ship is is at a small town, a uh, Lindos village, that you're Lindos. you're going to come to. Uh, that's where the rocks are. That's as far as we could make it. Um, but sure. Lindos village, my ship said, if you want to wait for me there, uh, once we make this delivery, we'll head back. I mean, I guess it'll be about three or four days though. But if you would like to wait, I'll be happy to take you down to the harbor. You and your friends, of course, not just you. I, sorry, I didn't mean to exclude you. I, um, that's all right. I, I believe, unfortunately... We're a little well, behind on time, unfortunately. Yes, we're, we're, we're on a... We're, we're trying to get down to um, Melitus, right? Or Well, we're, we're going farther than that, right? Yeah. Where are we going? <laughs> well, we're going somewhere. Question. We're I, going to the plague. But it, it, it'll be a couple of days hike from Lindos on, on down to the harbor, so I might be able to save you at least a day's journey. It, it's up to you. So. If you're there when I arrive, you, you of course, are welcome. I, yeah, I mean, ultimately, we're just trying to get there as quickly as possible. So if you think it'd be faster for us to wait and then catch a ride, then I say we should do that. And then yeah. you and I can catch up and I can get some some boating back in before I'm actually captaining again. <laughs> well, I haven't been you, on a ship in a little while. You, you and your friends are welcome. You're always welcome on my ship. My, my ship is at your disposal, Vara. You know oh, that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, uh, well, I suppose we will head that way and, and we'll meet you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the water. Thank you. Good journeys. That's good luck. And he, he waves his stub of a hand. <laughs> Um, it is now missing. Ha have you, have you seen Menelaus? Uh, not. When was the last you saw him? It it's been some time. Um, uh, and he he goes to scratch his face, and you know it's like he forgets that his hand's not there. And mm. he, and he's, um, well, uh, there there was a small uh, falling out among crew, and um. Uh, I'm a, f it's been a while. Uh, when, when, when we can meet up and we're on the ship, I'll, I'll be glad to discuss everything. I, I need to catch up. They're, they're getting, a, getting far away, but. Sure. Yes. It is very good to see you. Thank you again for the water. Thank you. Of course. All right. As soon um, as he's out of earsight, I'll just be like, those injuries seem recent. The way he reacts. Uses his injured hand. Uh, you'd you'd be surprised. Um, unfortunately, I've seen a lot of accidents like that with various crew members. Um, you run into some quite interesting creatures on the water and um, and off the water in taverns, getting in fights, basically. <laughs> um, you know the typical. I guess pirate way, if you want to say pirate. Um, phantom limb syndrome can last quite a long time, among other things. So uh, perhaps recent, perhaps not. But if if you all agree to what his offer was, and, and we stay in, in, what was it, Lindos a few days, um, I'm sure we'll find out just how recent they are. Get an idea of how dangerous the waters might be right now. Well, if it gets us faster to data i think that is a good idea i think um, so and and perhaps you know the further south we go the better pulse we might have on what's going on down there so there might be some gossip we can glean that wasn't readily available at acros great i'm sure we can find some i mean we can simply sleep on the ship if we need to so we have free lodging Sure, we could potentially find someone else or do some kind of heroic deed and have someone offer their place to us. I feel like we're pretty good at that. 
<laughs> but he, he's 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 a good he's a good man. Um, was on my um, on my father's ship for quite some time, at, at least at least five years. So seems fortuitous we would come across him then. So perhaps it is meant to be that we take him up on his offer. It does. I feel like our piety is being quite rewarded. We've run into a lot of old, old friends. Well, um, let's continue, I suppose. As you continue to make your way along the path, you can see the, where the water has fallen and, and dripped from these, these packages of kelp they were carrying it because the dust, you know, has little splatter craters in it from the water and, but it all dries up quickly. And as you continue to descend, it starts going from rock to greenery. It becomes less of a stone path and more of a, a dirt and maybe a little bit of, of grass here and there. The, the, Rough shrubbery becomes more tree-like and, and, and bushes and such. And eventually, you come out into an area that's flattened out, somewhat, somewhat like a field. It's a small area, but it's, it's definitely a place that would make a good spot for a small village. And as you approach closer, in the distance, the village of Lindos comes into view. Let's see if I can get the map up here and it will behave. There we go. Hopefully that came up for everybody. And you would be up in this area right over here where I am pinging right now. So just coming into the edge of this map. Yeah, I see some, I see tokens. That's a good thing. You'll note, uh, especially Vara and Ariana, because Ariana, you've probably been this way at least once. The water level seems quite low. It's still flowing. There are still, you know, water moving, but it's definitely down lower in the banks than, than it usually is. This, this river is, is known for flowing and it, it's purported to flow from through and from the foot of Porphyros's forge. So the water tends to be a little bit warm and it's always been a good flow, good water. It's, it's been very good for crops and very good for fish. So it's unusual to see it this way. And as you get closer to the village, you notice there are some rocks that have settled in the path. And definitely they would make it where you could not navigate across this. When you get closer into the village, you see a bridge that's been placed across the river. It's new and its construction is, let's just say it was put up hastily. On the far side, there's a, a mill house. It's got a water wheel going. And there are several children playing on the bank. They've climbed down that, that edge of the shore where the water's down low. And they have a boat that they have manufactured. And they put it in the water. And it's kind of going slowly with the stream. And there are a couple of men nearby speaking. And a, a few other people milling about doing various things in the village. At the dock you see a couple of small rowboats and then one small schooner. It's not huge, but uh, it would be large enough to say carry six or seven people and some packages of kelp. There we go. Um, do you think that's your friend's boat? Yes, I would imagine so. Um, it does look like there's some good we could potentially do in the town. Huh? It seems like they're facing some kind of drought, rockfall. Mm -hmm. um, oh. I'm going to guess it's a bridge. We should find out what happened. Uh, I'm more concerned about the bridge myself. Uh, doesn't seem safe. 
No, the rock bridge, this temporary one? No, that one. I'll point at the, the, the wooden one. I was just... We're not crossing over there, are we? Or... Come on, Ptolemaeus, live a little. She'll well, slap I, him on the back. <laughs> I guess we have two options. There's this rock-type stepping stone bridge that we could take and cross near the water mill. I mean, that's non-traditional, but um, we could also take the bridge. I mean, are you worried about the water? I can shape water. I can... We could potentially just pass right through. Yeah, 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 sure. And... I mean, all right, okay, so first of all, I think I live quite a bit. I live through quite a bit already with, with, a, with a lot of you. It's just, you know, sometimes sometimes there are things that, that if, if you die, it's really hard to live a little bit more than after that. You think, this, the, you think the water's you, going to kill you? If you managed to drown in this river with all of us here you would have a place of honor in the afterlife of most magnificent death i forget how did ptolemaeus say that he had died before i, I don't think he well. did specifically that's what i thought that's what I thought. No, he did. He said he drowned. <laughs> but yeah, yeah Orcos, I, Orcos was I, guessing to, about it everyone, and right? all the stuff no, about Ray as well. Oh, okay. You didn't tell anyone. All right. Well, I, then I only I, I only told enough, or I only told Tikros, and you were there. Yeah. Yes. But, but in the last session, Orcos was sitting there looking at him and going, "I see water, and I see. <laughs> did you drown in a bath? What's in a bathtub? No, um, no, not a bathtub." I, and then I got into a shouting match with him and left. <laughs> Listen, um, if I have to live every day with stairs, then I think you can cross a bridge. Right. Oh, I mean, what's a little more water? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Ptolemaeus, all... I believe you can do this, and she'll slightly kinder pat on the back and cast a bless on you. <laughs> so you have a d4 on your on ongoing ability check so if you have to swim you will Yay. be okay <laughs> we are all facing challenging fears today so far <laughs> i faced the awkward encounter of having to talk to someone that knew me at the worst parts of my life and <laughs> ptolemaeus is facing i guess water was a fear yes you were afraid of being on the boats i remember this whose fear is next it's just so unpredictable, that's all. I just, I'll start walking towards the bridge. <laughs> I personally don't have any, so we're good there. Oh, but water is so beautiful at the same time. And Vara's just gonna try to, like, quickly head to where the children are playing, um, with the boat. And then once she's in range, which would be 30 feet, she's gonna, like, shape the water and kind of make it move in fun, cool ways and make waves and have it almost, like, surf, if I can do that. Okay. I love it. Very good. So far is just easily like <laughs> having a fun time, like <laughs> quickly. And she's just jumping yeah. on the rocks, or if she if she happens to dip into the water, she enjoys it and just kind of <laughs> shapes the water right back up. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So what I'll is your going across the bridge? All right. I will yeah, I will also slowly go across the bridge. Okay. Slowly I and carefully. Agrius will cross the bridge last. Um, he is the heaviest, so if he breaks it, at least everyone else can make it across. <laughs> While the bridge looks hastily built, it is actually fairly sturdy. It appears to be three different sections of dock that have been pieced together and strapped together. And uh, it doesn't go very high above the level of the water or where the level of the water would normally be um because it, it appears downstream a little bit where that small house is maybe the dock had once been at that place but uh it either broke loose or was removed so that they could make this bridge across mm -hmm. and as you get closer uh one of the gentlemen uh that's speaking is looks up and hail travelers 
What can we do for Hello. you? What can we do for you? We're on our way to Data, um, but a friend has a boat here we thought we might stay at. A friend? Uh, who? Who is this Still friend? Look to Vera. Um, oh, uh, his name is Xenon. If you caught his name, if you didn't catch his name, then uh, he's rather recognizable. He's he's got an eye patch. Um, kind man. They were they were carrying kelp to Akros. And he kind of he kind of gets this look on his face. He's a little suspicious of a group of uh, vagabond looking travelers <laughs> <laughs> who are talking about someone who uh, may or may not have come through here. Uh, really, uh, a friendship. And what's the name of this ship? Um, oh, it's a schooner that's right over there at the dock. Uh, you know, I could easily, anybody could walk up and say it's a schooner right there at the dock because there's a schooner sitting at the dock. How do I know? How do I know you didn't kill Xenon? Oh, I would never he's he's known me since i was i was a tot i that would be preposterous well he, how he am i a, to know that you're proud... not just someone who came in here killed him says that's his ship over there and oh i've known him all my life i certainly have he was a proud crew member of the providence <sighs> i suppose a potential option is we can we were going to wait for him to come back from acro so um Perhaps we can help you with your water flow problem while we wait. Yes, you've got quite the rickety bridge. We could solve that. Uh, we're just passing uh, through. I, I I don't understand uh, the trouble. I'll have you know, me me and my friend here built that bridge. We just put it uh, up two days ago so that we could get get get. Oh, you're what happened to it? <laughs> I think it's a perfectly lovely bridge. <laughs> She's gonna make eyes at everybody, like, stop, be careful, he's not gonna let us in. It held up <laughs> your big friend here. I suppose that's feet. What do you mean, big? <laughs> well, you, you're not exactly little. You're muscular and brawny, Agrios. It's a I compliment. Uh, anyway. Didn't sound like a compliment. <laughs> well, if I take you at your word that you're a friend of Xenon's and I don't have much choice, where where do you hail from? Well, we all hail from different places. We're traveling most recently from Ekron as a group, but each of us have our own destinies that we're, we're following from different places. Akron, origins. that sounds like some place that would be high, like in an Ohio place. <laughs> Oh. Sorry, couldn't resist. <laughs> Goodness, can we stay somewhere, please? <laughs> Whether it be on the ship or if we need to pay for something, I would just—I would like to be done with this conversation. Anything, just just stop talking. So. <laughs> do we do carry funds for lodgings if you have any? And as my companion here said, we are willing to help with any problems that you have, <sighs> just so that we could wait for our friend to come back. All right, all right. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just with all the strange happenings, you've got to be careful. There, there, there are those, you know, brigands out about on the trail and robbers and thieves and things. Is that uh, you said strange. Uh oh, you cut out, Ariana. Sorry. Oh, so, no, I, 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 I stopped myself because I, because oh, okay. <laughs> Ptolemaeus had a question. I was going to wait. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, well, just... everything merged at once. <laughs> Brigands and strange happenings and whatnot is, are those things that you need help dealt with. Uh, well, not here specifically, but there have been problems, you know, we've heard along the trail. And you should you should watch out if you're going to sail, because apparently there's there's been a, bits of piracy going on out there. Nothing on nothing on the data, of course, but if you're going beyond that. But, and all the while this little girl is pulling on the side of his shirt shirt just trying to get his attention and he's like what puppy puppy my boat and she's turning and pointing kind of in the direction of the water wheel and my boat daddy and he's what it's it's fine it'll it's just a toy we can make but daddy my boat what's going on with, what's going on with the boat 
If yes, far as like telescope out, like <laughs> this is a fellow captain in need. What's happening to your boat? Oh, that's <laughs> well, oh. They had the small boat that they were playing with in the water, and you were seeing it go downstream. And she's pointing at it, and it's it's right by the bridge. And you'll note the water seems to be it's not moving. The boat is standing still. Oh. And Vara, you pick up a scent that you're familiar with. You you catch the scent of salt water. And suddenly the boat, the little boat, turns and begins to flow back upstream. See, there's that unpredictability I was talking about. That's not normal, right? All right, jumps in. Far <laughs> <Barra> jumps in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you jump into the water, and what is yeah. your what is your goal? Um, I need to. I this is unlike any water that I've ever seen. That is that is reasonably capable of happening for science. Um, which means it would need to be per magic. So, um, I don't think I have a detect. No, so I'm just trying to kind of with my eyes see if I can spot what is going on. I might shape water a little bit okay. around the area to see if I can impact it. Okay. As you jump into the water, the first thing you notice the water is warmer. Sure. Than than normally a river water would be. But then as that smell increases, that smell of salt water coming from behind you, assuming you're facing the bridge, coming from behind you. You get this cold flush of water and that smell of salt. And uh, you notice the water seems to be flowing that way. It's flowing the direction that would be uphill. Rivers don't generally flow uphill. And the water level slowly begins to rise. Weird. Do I see any kind of hole? Like, is it suddenly being spring fed? Um, um, or is there like a hole in the ship that's leaking to where suddenly there's. You, all you can tell from where you're standing at is the water level is rising and it is flowing back the way it originally came. Okay. And I'm it, not at the origin point of where the water is rising from. No. You're okay. you're somewhere in the midst. If you had to guess, because of the smell of the water, this is not fresh water that you're getting now. This is the water that would come from the sea. You would expect to get this closer to data, to the harbor. Sure. Where you have an actual bay and the river intermixing. But you're you're miles from that. Hmm. How sturdy is the water wheel look? The water wheel was going, and all of a sudden, it. Gr I'm glad you asked. It groans to a stop and then starts going backwards the other way, which it is not intended to do. So it's making chugging noises as it turns the um, wrong direction. I'm, can I? I would like to run over to it and like climb it on the wrong side to kind of balance it out so that it won't try to turn. Okay. If. If we can all see this, I would like to cast Detect Magic if I could. Okay. Yeah, you see Vara in the water swimming around like, huh, what? What's going on? <laughs> um, I'd also like to look down the way the water is now coming from, from the higher vantage point of above okay. of, on the water wheel. Okay. Uh, let's have a uh, athletics or acrobatics check as you are trying to do something very unusual with a water wheel. And Agrios, go ahead and cast your Detect Magic. And I will let you know what you find as soon as I get back around to you. <laughs> oh, whoops. Didn't mean to click it twice. Uh, I'm going to use channel divinity to give myself advantage. All right. That's going to be a dirty 20 athletics. Beautiful. You, you climb on this thing and it starts to roll the other way, but you're able to, you know, scamper up quickly enough and balance this thing. So you're standing on this thing like this balancing back and yeah. forth as it's rocking uh agrio says you look around and you you for anything you're not getting any idea of magic except for 
from Vara. Um, you saw where she had put the coins in the, the pouch that you had gotten from Orcos. Um, so mm. you're picking that up. But other than that, you're not really seeing anything magic. No magic nearby. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and he would say that. I don't see any magic nearby. I'm going to instinctually move away from the water. <laughs> Just right. take a few steps back as I'm kind of looking through. Okay, so this isn't normal. That That's for sure, right? Yeah. I assume you just say that out loud, so the gentleman you've been yeah. talking to will go, uh, no, it's not. The river flows that direction. And he looks back, and you see as one of the rowboats uh, that was tied, because it was tied from the back, flips around going the other direction and is being pulled against its, its mooring on the dock. Or at least whatever magical is happening isn't local. Yeah, and Ariana's looking to see, like, is there like a wave coming that looks like the, it might be dangerous? The water is continually rising, but there is not like a, a, a blue, large wave coming. But as the water gets deeper and it's hitting different things, you know, there are rapids and things going and the water is, is increasing not quite to its normal levels, but it's it's about halfway back to its normal height. And it is picking up mm. speed as it continues to flow. So Vara, it's getting pretty deep on you at this point. Sure. Yeah, I'll go ahead and climb out and I'll kind of talk a lot. I'm like, I was listening to them and I'll kind of crawl out and I'm like continuing my thoughts as well. And I, well, in, in the event of um, some kind of, uh, event natural disasters such as a tsunami sometimes the water recedes and then suddenly rushes uh but um i that that would be more along once again i mean the, the salt water that i was in i mean that kind of action even if there were a natural disaster i mean that would be happening at the shore is not in the middle of the river nowhere near a, a, a delta or a estuary of sorts i there was no magic Agrius, I saw you. There's no magic, at least within uh, the area. Hmm. Whether whether something is happening further downstream, upstream, whatever it is now. Has we anything have like to go to see? Sure. Yeah. It, has anything like this ever happened before? No. No. Absolutely not. How long has the water been low? Uh, well, a couple of days since the event happened in Akros, uh, they say oh. the Colossus fell and broke the bridge. Yes. Yes. Since well, uh, then, since then uh, it was it was probably I don't know. I guess it was within a few hours of that we noted that the water had slowed and was lowering a little bit. But I... and that's and then eventually those rocks that have have blocked us upstream, you know, came rolling down as well. I what? suppose Thassa could possibly be pushing water into the rivers to try and maintain wildlife, but that wouldn't make sense. I mean, any fish or things that are in fresh water would, would die with the salt exposure unless it's And I just love your segue because I just rolled the dice. And as you were talking, you notice several fish float to the top of the water. Yeah, that wouldn't be Thassa. <laughs> <laughs> What's What's happening when that water hits the rocks? Is it, anything, is it just bowling over them? It, it is. As it hits them, it, it is separating like you would expect and making some rapids and stuff. Just like water okay. flowing, if you were to okay. you know, push a wave across. The wheel is groaning a little bit more. And uh, when a, someone comes running out of the mill house and we've, we've got to chalk the wheel. Uh, um, you up there. What are you yeah. doing on my wheel? Uh, getting a vantage point, but also holding it in place. Would you like a hand? Yeah, I'm he already up here. He, he will throw a line to you. Grab and, it. Uh, just secure it across the top. We'll... 
we'll do this and we're going to have to put something in front of the the water to divert it so that it's not going to the wheel's going to break the the grindstone's already to the edge it's almost to snap Boom. that's not good far can i borrow your telescope real quick um yes uh sure i will as soon as i get the telescope i'll kind of look downstream where the water is coming from um as far as <laughs> as far as possible to see like if there is a cutting like cutting off point of where the water starts or is it like just all the way into the horizon and there's nothing that I can as, see? as far as you can see down the river path it's just the water if it's all salt water then i and from the looks of it i'll just still have the telescope on it might be coming straight from the ocean. It's nothing where, nothing close to where the river is. I, I don't know what would be causing that. Like I said, I mean, you could theorize that, so, but I mean, this is going to cause massive die-off. I mean, it, it entirely ruined ecosystems. I, I don't think that would do that, but. We have been chasing people, imitating the gods and Precisely. various actions by them. So uh, perhaps we should search the town for fingerprints. The, the, the man you've been talking to just looks at what? <laughs> it's a bit complicated, but we're here to help. <laughs> and he, he's and looking, at, he's looking at his hands and he's like, <laughs> we're looking for that. Sorry, I agree. Sorry. No, what, what was uh, it? And now I don't, really don't want to say it. Never mind. Too late. <laughs> <What was? laughs> we're, look, we're looking for balls with fingerprints on them, like someone's been touching them. Um. <laughs> uh, just one fingerprint, really, like a little poke. Right, right, right. And like someone's just been poking the balls. Yes. Uh, friend, I. <laughs> They're big balls, though. And, and big fingerprints? I don't know if that helps without, with getting your mind out of the gutter as well. Either black or white, both. I, I yeah, don't know. Um, I'm afraid I don't think I've seen anything quite like that around. I, do you... You don't happen to chew on chaka root do you by any, by any chance you've never seen that really i thought this town was full of sailors i've never heard of chaka root are you are you sure I mean, he's he's looking at your eyes specifically <laughs> at your the pupils of your eyes uh you've, you've <laughs> have you had much to to drink i was just in salt water Oh, you know what? We gave up our water skin, so I, I am rather parched. Um, is there somewhere we can grab food and discuss what might be going on? Um, sure. Uh, come this way to the to the boathouse. Great. As we follow, I'll just be like, Agrios, you could have used sphere. You could have used orb. <laughs> What's wrong? Any. It's very descriptive. Exactly, I know, I understand that. <laughs> but to to someone that is living to a vill I'm just saying there are better words for it sometimes. For certain companies, you know, it's it's okay. We'll we'll continue this over a drink or something. So the All before right. the man as the man's leading you that way, he turns back to the children. Vala! Lanthi! Get, oh. get. Carlos, get get out of the water. Stand, get away from it. Don't play in the water right now, and leave the fish alone. Then he will guide you into the boathouse over here. Yes, you you should you should net and harvest those if you plan on eating them. They will go bad in about ten minutes. <laughs> well, since we don't know what killed them, I'm not sure that it would be a wise choice to eat them anyway. I mean, maybe Very the water's fair. poison. You were in the water. How do you feel? It was just salty. Like I said, it's just an ecosystem shock. 
ecosystem. You, you people use strange words. I read a lot of books. Would would recommend doing that sometime. Yes. Thank you. We have we have noticed things have been getting a little bit warmer around here lately. <laughs> too real. Too real. Stop. Stop. <laughs> it's been rather. It's been rather inconvenient. Beyond. <laughs> Well, it's not a lie. <laughs> anyway. Oh my god. Right. So uh, they get they get set up inside of the building. Someone starts cooking some fish because that seems to be the primary thing around this area, and uh, it is just a a small farming and fishing village. Uh, the only reason it's built up a little bit is. Because they have ships that come through on their way to Akros or on their way to Data, and this is a stopping point. And until this happened, they've never had quite as much traffic as they've had coming through lately. But since the river got dammed up, ships can't make it up, so they obviously haven't been coming this way until this last one. The schooner of your friend, and he, you know, okay, your friend Xenon. <laughs> And the water is continuing to rise, and one of the children comes in, and the the water's about to go over the over the the bridge, and it's 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 really deep. Ariana is still helping with the water wheel, by the way, and hasn't gone. With everybody, okay. So. All right. Well, uh, you help them. They will get it set up and chopped so that it won't turn, but it groans under the the pain of this. So they go grab what wood they can find and they make kind of a, a ramp to divert the water so and block it at this area up here it's the used to be the outlet but is now the inlet for the water wheel and with your assistance they're able to get that blocked up pretty well but the water continues to beat against it and it's getting higher so eventually it may need to be shored up again um, is there somewhere where uh people can go who live near the bank for in, in the event of flooding? Have you dealt with flooding before? We, we've never really had it flood like this. I mean, that's one of the, the gifts of this river. It's, it's always been warm and, and, and constant. Even it's, in it's, rain? It, it, absolutely. It's, it's hmm. the blessing. It's Thassa's blessing on this, this river. I suppose. It's, you know, this is, this, this is the river that runs under the Forge of Perforos. Oh. Mm. You know, this, this is the river, ah. you know, this is the point where Thassa and Perforos made their agreement that the water would be used to cool his forge and that the water would be maintained at a, a, a proper temperature and proper height and the engineering and, and I mean, you've heard the stories, I'm sure. Ah, uh, yes, a little bit. I didn't realize it was this specific river. Um, eesh, that complicates things. I guess what what rate is the water rising at? Do we have time to like go get food, or is it we should probably? You, you've got time. It, it's okay. it's not horribly rising, and it's it's gone up to its normal level, and it's still rising a little bit, but not any not threat level at this point. Okay. But since they built the bridge low, uh, the fact that it reached it would not be surprising. But it just means it's approaching the banks of where the river would normally flow. Hmm. That changes things, not necessarily that much, but now the whole conspiracy about whether or not we should be focusing on looking for those orbs with fingerprints make a lot more sense if gods are involved. What? Why would the so gods too. do this? Sorry, Tikaris, go ahead. No, I think so too. I don't even want food. I want to go look right now. This is dangerous. I think we should be looking. Oh, I just hey. thought maybe it'd be good to gather our thoughts, but uh, I don't know. It seems like we might just talk ourselves in circles, so I think maybe we should, we should just this... go right away. We should probably follow this downstream or up, upstream or where the water is coming from. Maybe there's... Well, the water's coming from the Molothic, the bay. <laughs> I mean, that's the only other thing on the end of this river. Yes. I mean, you have the one end in the mountains and the other ends in the bay. 
And the other obvious thing is if the water is flowing the wrong way, the boat trip isn't going to save us any time. We should get down there as soon as possible. Yes, I, I yes. that is a fair point. Um, and we certainly can't just wait, wait it out. Um, but even then, if it's coming from the bay, I mean, that's a four days travel. It'll, it'll take a while for us to get to the potential origin point. But, Are um, you, well, if you're, if you're planning on walking, yeah. And if I, you know, normally with a boat from here, it's, it's less than a day's travel because of the current, but you're going to be fighting hope. the current the whole way. Yeah. We'd just be walking. Mm. If we want to answers we uh need to analyze the data looks like it harbor the data harbor seems like it's been breached <laughs> oh goodness gracious all right <sighs> um can we take a little bit of a pause here and just say I, I really miss this. I miss you guys. <laughs> I, I just want yeah, to we it. took too long of a break. I don't. I don't think we should I... take so long of a break. Again. <laughs> At know. the very least, if we take a break this long again, we have to get online somewhere during the mid break and just punt at each other for an hour so we can we can still get, get it out of our systems. Yeah. Wait. Oh man. Okay. Um. I feel like there's really no point in doing anything other than traveling downstream right now down towards oh, the bay wait Tully, we haven't even looked at this village what if there's clues here i could go right now let me just take a quick look fair we could right look I, for I, clues in the village i think let's let's campus the area i am going to grab food i i understand the importance but i am starving um <laughs> so i will i will pick up something for us for the road um extra rations perhaps and water skins too we lost our water skins yes and if i could leave a note on on scene on ship i would appreciate that if i could do that so i'll go grab water skins and leave a note if everyone else wants to investigate fair right. well i we could also use some help i mean if if the river's opened up now we we can remove the the bridge and we can get those rocks out of the way and, and maybe travel will open back to to the bay for Akros. That's fair. I mean, that once the word gets out, you know, they can send their their help and assistance. Will be able to make it down the river or up the river or to Akros through the river. So we need teams. We need a construction deconstruction, some kind of crew. We need detectives, and we have me writing a note. <laughs> and going shopping and getting food <laughs> which i think is a lovely arrangement i'll I'm, i'll take a drastics i'm ready to help anyone you know me i love helping people he says <laughs> and then takes a swig from his water skin that he kept <laughs> <laughs> excellent uh, all right. Well, who's doing what? Who is going to participate in? Ariana is already in the river still. Like, so <laughs> we know where she is. All right. Well, you're going to have plenty of wood as they take the bridge down to uh, help divert around the water wheel. So good. Uh, I like as the far idea as... of Red coming back and being stuck on the most boring crew. <laughs> <laughs> we can do you're that. You're with me. Oh, welcome. We can, we can do that. <laughs> We're writing a note. <laughs> Everyone else is doing noble, but beautiful things. Welcome to my crew. Tigros, let's let's go and search for clues. Team detectives. Yeah. All right. So we got two people searching. Agrios. Um. Yeah, let's see if I have a cracking coin. I do. I'll take a poor one. Um. You can I'm come searching. destroy a thing. <laughs> oh, destruction! I could, dis I could destroy. You destruction could destroy is destroy a bridge. Great. I'll help destroy a bridge then. All right. Excellent. Demo Excellent. crew, detective crew. <laughs> uh, as far as the food search goes, uh, this is a fishing village. They will have fish and maybe some uh, vegetables and things <clears throat> grown in the local farm areas. But 
there's no county store <laughs> there's sure. nothing like that here so is there are there like salted fish or, or fish that are <laughs> there, preserved in some kind of way amazingly there are freshly salted fish there's right quite there. a bit of fresh <laughs> but i mean like i guess it wouldn't be fish jerky but like a like a heavily they'll, they'll have very they'll have various types of smoked or aged something to uh perfect uh, yeah i'll, just, I'll grab some long. stuff that's appropriate for the road maybe a couple like potatoes or something, starchy vegetables that won't go bad quickly. All right. So uh, let's see. Ptolemaeus and Tikaros, you want to search the village for clues. So give me an idea what your investigative approach is going to be. What are you looking for? Um, I, Ptolemaeus actually doesn't care that much about the village uh but we're still here so the f the first thing that he thinks about is whether or not visually he can find any sorts of hints that that even though he doesn't believe that the water originated the the water flowing originates from anywhere near the village he's going to try to see if there's any sort of uh visual um clues okay. that could potentially lead to the fact that there might be one of those uh, fingerprint orbs around. Okay. Uh, I believe you were in possession of Vara's uh, scope. Do you still have it? Yes. Okay. It, Just making did, sure did he's I give, got one. I didn't so. give it back yet. And we we're still talking. I was yeah, holding on to it. Yeah. All right. Well, let's have someone roll an investigation check and they will be assisting the other. So whoever has the highest modifier for investigation, roll with advantage. I'll leave that between you and Tikaros. What do you have for investigation? Even though like Tikaros is a super serious detective, she has a minus one to her investigation. <laughs> I will do the investigation. Uh, but I'm still gonna let you have you. advantage on it, yeah. but uh yeah. <laughs> but she can guide you. She kind of she dances around and she goes like, Tolly, also remember the crazy hooded figure. Look for clues. Look for anything like evidence that's one of the, that person could have been around and she'll guide you at the same time. So a D4. The guidance did her, well, uh, well help. Uh, let, me, let me add the D4 as well first. So that will be 19 total. Okay. Uh, as you are looking around and move a little bit out of the village away, so not just the general tread path of everything, uh, and you're looking around, you noticed, you noticed some footprints that seem a little out of place. Everyone in this village appears to be human descent that you've seen thus far. But, you know, you've seen Agrios's footprints and obviously Tikaros's footprints. But the hoofprints you find a little bit out of town, they, they, they don't match a horse. They don't match... Tikaros, a satyr, and they don't even match the centaur marks left by Agrios. It's it's two legged, whatever it is, but there's some kind of a, a hoof print, and they have several quite questions. a long stride. I have several several questions. Um, are they bigger than Tikaros's and smaller than Agrios's? Number one. Yes. Do they? remind me any bit of the uh the masked minotaur that the mementor that we dealt with before no okay so it matches exactly the description of the hoof prints that vara had mentioned that they were chasing that night you would probably need to verify that with one of someone who actually saw them but uh it would be in that proximity yes okay um where is it looking like with the big strides where is it going that's a question i was waiting for you to say which direction is it going <laughs> <laughs> yep that was the last question that i had <laughs> it appears that whatever it was was headed south towards the bay or north towards akros but either way turned and went the other direction because you have it in two different directions Can I make a survival check uh, 
to see if there is any bit of difference between the two sides as in yes because of the fact that there's okay yeah i get you completely yeah that is a 17 all right as you look at these and you're you're examining it it does appear that the tracks were going south and for whatever reason headed back north just a little bit of you know the age of the dirt and the compactness yeah. of the gives you that clue i'm going to follow it north i'm just going to continue it following north uh, okay. immediately all right i was like tikros i think i found something remember what vara said about them finding hoof prints of that that one hooded figure that they followed all the way on to wa walking onto a wall and whatnot. They had hoof prints that were bigger than yours, smaller than Agrios's. These seem like the ones. Come, I, th um, I think I think they're going yes. north. Let's go. Let's go. And I'll just keep them with them. Okay. They Can I also scan the sky as we walk? Just okay. Yeah. And what are you looking for? Just anything out of place, any weird bird movement or anything happening in the sky as we're walking. Okay. Uh, give me a perception. And then I will come back to you in a moment and get the numbers oh. from you. Uh, Vara, assuming you have written your note, <laughs> this looks like a good roll. You've written your note. Uh, if you want to say what it says, that's fine. If it's just a note you're leaving, that's fine too. Um. Yes, it would... It would just be a note of lovely, lovely chatting with you. Hope to hope to um, catch up again soon. Uh, we'll be throughout the area on the dolphin ship. Um, we can find each other through the ports. But I would kind of briefly mention that there is trouble in the town, and and we need to further investigate and to be safe on the waters um, if things haven't gone back to normal. All right. Uh, you go out to the boat and uh, there's, it's a small schooner, you know, it's, it's got a, a small space underneath for storage and stuff. It's, it's not a huge boat, but you know, big enough it could carry the party and maybe a couple of other people, a little tightly compacted, but <laughs> you would all fit. Um, sure. You find a, a place, a captain's loft. Uh, actually, it's more like a hammock that's been tied up in, in an area, but it's it's the captain's. And that's a place for you to leave the note. Perfect. Yeah, I'll go and, ahead and uh, set it down near there. All right. As you are leaving the boat, uh, you look back and you catch the name of it that is written on the back side of the boat. And it is, is it is it? named Born of the Tide. And there is a small oh. mermaid painted on. Wow. Vara. Vara's just like grinning, beaming. She's uh, that means so much to her. Um and she'll kind of just try to regroup with everyone. Oh, and she'd also have acquired water skins somewhere somehow. <laughs> you might have been able to find a few on the boat, uh, you know. Or Ooh. around the town a little bit. <laughs> Sure, if there's some, well, I, we gave him the water skins of ours. So, yeah, so if there's a couple on the boat, then I'll take the ones on the boat. Um, okay. I'll, like, leave a couple coins. All right. Or I'll leave, a, I'll leave just, like, one coin, and I'll add to my note. Um, took, took the water skins, the, uh, took the water skins back in return. Um, and here's a coin for both your troubles and safe passage. Nice. And if all else fails, you can just kill a goat and make your own water skin. <laughs> Very fair. Yeah. No, no, no. It, it takes three goats and one rabbit skin and four rope. No, anyway. <laughs> uh, that's I, I was talking about a water skin. <laughs> Not whatever situation you were suggesting. <laughs> it's enough for like a bagpipe. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Jeez. Icarus, how did your roll go? Natural 20 All for right. a total of 20. Right. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> it was perception, right? To scan the sky. Perception? 
<laughs> no modifiers. Um, as you're watching the stars, you notice there's there's not generally been any birds or anything traveling around. Everything's been pretty quiet because of you know all the hectic stuff that's gone on. I mean, the gods turning the skies open to you know fight tends to make the birds and stuff not come. But you do hear and see what looks like a seabird flying up the valley following the river. And it gets to a point and dives down, obviously going for one of the fish. I mean, you know, dead fish, that could attract anything, right? Bears, birds, you never know what. That's so cute, Tolly. I'm looking at the seabed. Great, excellent, good stuff. And I'll just keep watching the the <laughs> go hoof prints as I'm following. The, the path goes and this side, the other side is where the trail has been hewn out of the stone. This side is very rocky, and while you can make it a ways, it's definitely becoming more dangerous to go as you're walking. And it becomes so rocky that there are no footprints anymore. But it's obvious uh, whatever, whomever, went this direction. Um, with, still with Vara tell Vara's telescope, could I kind of mentally draw a line to see what path that they could take? Or is it is it like just basically the low parts of the, the sheer cliff that we, we were going through? It's the opposite it's the opposite side of that. So it's going to go up the same way. And it's going to move into the mountain. It's going to be sheer cliff on one side, but very rocky on the other because no one has ever bothered to make a trail out of this mm -hmm. side. But definitely, it's it's headed in the general direction of Akros. Okay, there's a. Uh... That's a little interesting. Um, I think we need to get together with the rest of the group, real quick, and discuss this. Yeah, but you saw the tracks going or coming from the north as well, right? No. Or they, north and south. It seemed like they were going south. Yeah. And then made a sharp turn to go back north. Right. We could follow the track south. Yes, we should go talk to everybody. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I will just head back to the village and see if I can help gather everybody first. And also uh, remember to give Vara her telescope back. Mm -hmm. I forgot the last time. <laughs> well, the activities that you two have taken would take maybe an hour, up to two hours. Uh, Vara, what you did obviously wouldn't take all that long as well. Um, but Ariane and Agros, you're still working hard to uh, help them get this bridge torn apart, which they are able to do. And, and with your help over a couple hours and, and get it positioned a little bit to protect the water wheel. Although now there is no direct way over to the other side where the path is that actually leads to Akros. I mean, and, they weren't going to be able to cross the bridge anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> and they're beginning, well, that's true. And they are beginning to discuss uh, clearing those stones from the river to make it passable so that uh, chips will be able to make it up to Akros. Mm. Or at least until the next collection of stones. Well, that's true. Too. Um, <laughs> but with the water flowing the other way, Fair. you know, maybe they won't come this way. But true. Uh, yeah, if that's the plan, I'll help for sure. Sure. I guess we'll help out too. Fantastic. All right. Well, this is going to be kind of dangerous. What you're doing because you're trying to move stones out of deep and fast moving water. So I think we're going to need some uh, athletics or and or acrobatics. From you. Um, I'll, I do. I still have my my channel divinity goes for at least I think it's an hour only, so it's probably over. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will cast less on uh, Agrios. Give him a D four. Oh, I appreciate that. I'll cast guidance on Ariana. Ah, uh, go team. <laughs> Paladin cleric combos are the best. <laughs> yeah, we both get a D four. 
Hell yeah. If you two are done patting each other on the back. Eh, <laughs> all right. Nah, we'll see how yet. it goes. A bit further. <laughs> I can find it. See, what are you? Oh, you're a frog. Sorry. I was like, what is in my dice bag? It's a tiny frog. Ooh, Boise. That's not good. Well, I got a four on my D4. Okay. I got a three on my D20. <laughs> Ooh. Good to know. It. So uh, I would say you seven, failed on eight, nine, that. 10, 11. 11. On that one. Oh, okay. I got 11 a, total. I got it. 12 on the d20 and a three on the d4 plus five is a dirty 20. all right so agrios you're kind of helping them leverage this big uh stone out of the way and ariana the rope starts to slip on it so immediately your action you jump in there to try and you know, keep the rope on this thing and unfortunately you lose your footing and your grip and you are under the water i just gotta say the first time i played ariana she drowned because <laughs> i kept failing athletics checks oh no oh no oh no oh no oh i have to well, this and send this to my dm anyway mm -hmm. <laughs> under the water i go you have any last words club so, uh, so uh for the moment uh there's nothing ariana can do as she's caught up in this this swell of water and rapid um what are the rest of you going to do so uh, ariana and agrios are still working mm -hmm. uh and i assume that Tikros and I are able to catch up with Vara, and uh, uh, I will. The first thing I'll do is, Vara, real quick, if you have some time. Number one, here's your telescope back. And number two, could you actually follow me real quick? I think you're muted. Ah! Hello. <laughs> Hi, You're thank no you for the telescope. Here. I will follow you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and then we'll just, I'll just like walk and talk and just very quickly show her the, uh, the prints. I'll just, are these anywhere close to the ones that you've seen before? The ones that you were following in Agros? Are they? I yes. believe so. Yes. Um, Yes, I mean, I don't have a direct comparison, but based on my memory, it was dark, but I, I'm almost certain these are exact. Were, were you able to find someone? Did you find no. any more fingerprints or, or anything like that? I mean, last time we chased someone with these hoofprints, um, it led to, uh, well, near death. So <laughs> are you all right? Well, the tracks, they go both ways, but... The fresher tracks do head back up north into the rocks where Tikros or nor I could actually follow any look further. Mm. But there is something to be said that these tracks go back up north. I don't know whether or not we should pursue it back up north or continue south, but from what it seemed, these tracks, their original goal was to go down to the Bay Area. Do you think your friend is in trouble? I, I wouldn't think so. I mean, he, he's a, he's a lovely man, but he's not someone to be targeted or, or anything like that. He's he's bringing aid to Akros in the form of kelp, but I, I don't know why someone but, nefarious would target that. I, it doesn't doesn't make sense. And in in terms of following, um, well, when we followed them. Back on rooftops, I we had quite a good chase on them, and they were able to simply vanish. So, I suppose we could follow these tracks into the rocks and, and try to make a greater effort to go back north. But if they want to disappear, they will disappear. So, I yeah, don't I know how much good that would do. I understand that. That's why. That's where my concerns kind of 
come to as well. The idea is whoever is this nefarious has been trying to stop any sort of aid going through to the people or anything that could potentially stop their plans from going up. According to plan, at least. I've been trying to yeah. wrestle the gods into arguing with each other for the longest time. I suppose. Um, I don't know. If you want just my sole opinion, I, I feel like we've only been able to be reactive. Everything that we've done and everything we've encountered, something has happened and then we've either been there at the time it's happened or helped with the aftermath and if if we're going to get on top of this and, and figure things out we need to be ahead not behind so uh, well that's I, what i would agree with yeah i just wanted to confer with you simply because well he is your friend and i, I think he'll be okay and if he were to pass in some kind of event, whether it be through this person or the journey to Akros or anything like that, um, I've offered a coin of passage at his ship and it would be during the efforts of trying to do good for people, which as my memory serves of Xenon, that's, that's the best way to go. So I hate to say that about a friend, but a single friend is not worth more than perhaps entire villages that might get destroyed as we as we track back our steps. I I learned something new today, and I appreciate your oh. your steps in logic, at least. Oh, that's that's what you have to rely on, for the most yes, part. I do agree on that. If that is the case, then let's go back, wait some on Ariana and Agrios to finish, and be on our way as soon as we can. Yes. Um, Ptolemaeus. Uh, yes? Are you sure you're okay with being on a boat? We don't have to. It... It's like you said. We do need to get ahead of these things, and, well, what's one little fear? Right? One person. Vara's going to put her hand on your shoulder and, and, and smile at you. And I would never let anything happen to a crewmate. Ever. I trust you. Okay. What a perfect segue. Ooh. Ariana, as you are fighting against what? this tide, <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> no, a, a fellow crew member of Vara, <laughs> as you, you break the surface and you 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 kind of get a catch of air, but then you feel this something on your leg. It's almost a, kind of a waxy, rubbery kind of a feeling. This does worse. And uh, I'm sorry, what's your armor class? Oh, that's a good question. It's like 12. Sorry, 15. It's a little better. Yeah. Oh, and wait, you... I don't have a shield. 13. <laughs> you feel as something wraps around your ankle. Almost like a, a hand, but it doesn't feel quite like a hand. The texture's off. Uh, and... It apparently has claws. And you feel yourself being pulled back under the water. And this is where we're going to take a break. <laughs> and uh, Tikaros, we'd heard from pretty much everybody. What are you up to? Yeah, I think... Tikaros is a little bit distracted. She's a little bored by the lack of action and all the talking. So she's going to just try and slip off and just do some more investigation, serious research work, like checking the buildings, looking around for any other clues that she could like 
pick up and find. All right. So I, if you want to sneak off, I think everybody was paying so much attention to what they were doing that nobody would particularly notice that you were off and doing. So uh, anything particular you're searching for? It's just more, I don't feel like we've searched the village like in depth yet. We did the tracks on the outside, but okay. she just wants to find something else. Like, is there any, did that hoof creature come in here? Is there any like evidence of tampering in the buildings themselves? Okay. All right. Well, go ahead and roll an investigation and I will come back to you in a moment. Ariana. When we left, you felt something gripping you around the leg and pulling you back under the water. And I think this is a very good time to say, let's roll initiative. Who all is rolling initiative? Uh, well, since there's only a couple of people here, they're the only ones that matter right now would be Ariana, Agrios possibly, and uh, whatever's holding on to Ariana's leg. Gotcha, okay. Uh, right, that zero decks, uh, ten. <laughs> so I think it That's actually, it. it actually rolled for everyone. Nice. And I am working on getting the one in here for my, uh, critter. Oh, yeah. wow. Mystery water beast. Yeah, well, I couldn't think of a better name at the moment. So. Uh, 20, come on. We rolled a I, 6 and a 2. Uh, does it really need to be a 20? I, 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 okay, or I, guess I roll. I, I, will, I will just let you know I rolled an 18. <laughs> <laughs> and then with a modifier, give us a 20. I don't know. My dice yeah. I physically rolled was a 10. Oh. All right. Oh, I don't, it came yeah, up as a two. It, it auto rolls okay. me. Well, my my character sheet didn't link, and so gotcha. it has none of my stats in it, and so I okay. don't know. How well, that's to do all right. It we have got that fixed, <laughs> and I don't know why that one is still on there. Let's fix that. I have multiple agrioses here. Agrios, which is yours? You have multiple acrioses? Yeah, in, in the turn order on the on roll twenty. I just two. I just see one. I see two. I see a six and a one. Which one is yours? Multiple I don't see the one. Acrios. I only see the six. Does everyone okay, else see so the one? So six is the one I, I need to keep. One. That's all that's all I'm looking for. Okay. Well, I don't know. Roll twenty showing me weird stuff then, which you know, whatever. I only it's, see six as well. Well, I deleted the other one, so we're all good now. Nice. With with all that fun sorted out, okay. Now, I have never used this token set that I'm about to use before, so I'm very interested what it's actually going to show up as. Okay, it shows up pretty nicely. All right. So, um, you are basically, at this point, you're grappled by this thing, okay? And as you're under the water and struggling, you get to a, a glimpse of this creature. And it is a very odd looking thing. It's it looks a bit like a dog in the face, somewhat like a cat in the body, except its tail has a claw hand on the end of it. And that is what is gripping your leg. And the skin on it has kind of this rubbery appearance to it, but it also has shocks of spiky hair along its body. And now that it has you by the leg, it has made its way down as deep in the water as it can, and it's pulling itself along the bed of the river and pulling you deeper and farther away from the rocks. No. And uh, with that, great. you're up. <laughs> Ariana, you're drowning. I mean, you're up. Um... I will. Can I try to escape the grapple, please? Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. So you can use athletics for that. Wonderful. I, I'm still. I still have guidance, right? <laughs> or is guidance a one-time thing? 
No, you already used it, so yeah. It's, oh, it's... okay. I wasn't sure if it was ongoing. Um, guess who remembered they have Lucky? I'm going to re-roll that. <laughs> good, good, because... That's worse. Um, that's I told you she's destined to drown. I just rolled a nine, and then on my lucky roll, I rolled an eight. Um, well, uh, not that nat twenties uh, count in skill checks, but I rolled a nat twenty. So <laughs> uh, twelve. I would say the twenty outweighs that, so you are still grappled. Wonderful. And underwater. I guess that's my turn. I'm giving some credit that you can hold your breath underwater for a bit. Agrios. Is what is. What's I'm what's sorry. drowning rule? I think drowning rules. I think is you can hold your breath for your con, yeah, modifier in minutes or something like that. Yeah. Yep. So I think you're good for a little while. Okay. Yeah. All right. So how quickly is it moving away from like any shore or rock or surface that? Um, at this point, away? if you would have seen Ariana come above the water and then disappear below it. Okay. Oh, so, so I can't even see this thing. Not necessarily through this water. If you want to give a perception check, I will say whether you can see through the water or not. Mostly it would be difficult, so it is going to be a fairly high DC. Okay. Does it, does it, does it take an action or anything to make perception, or can I just do it? Not, no, go ahead and just take it. Cause... All right. Uh, that's only going to be a 12, I'm afraid. You just saw her go underneath the water. And from that... Uh, well, where you see her on there, that's roughly where she would be in the water. So last you saw her. Okay, then. Well, there's not a lot else I can do. So being out of options, I'm going to jump in the water. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. Well, actually, okay. So what would it take for me to take my rope and tie myself to something before I jump in? Well, you've got a rope that's tied around a big rock right now. <laughs> okay. If that rope is tied around a big rock, I'm going to tie you know, that rope. That's the rock you were trying to pull out of the water. So the rock's in the water. But if you're looking for an anchor. I don't, that's that's fine. It's it's an anchor. I'm going to tie that rope around myself if I can. Is that and that take what, an action? If that takes an action, then I'll use my movement to jump in. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that would be an action to tie it on. And I mean... Rope normal length fifty feet. We'd some of that would have to be around the rock, obviously. So I'm gonna say you have twenty five feet lead. Cool. Almost. I want as little as possible, to be honest. Okay. Well, how close do you want to be to the rock? <clears throat> how much lead uh, do you want? I want to be on the other side of these rocks here, so that if I, yeah, for various reasons, I want to be. So on let's the let's say it's here. this rock here. Ah, oh, come on, ping. Hold on just a minute. My pinger's not pinging here. That sounded really bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the rock here that yeah. you were trying to pull out. That's the rock. Okay. Okay. So you've yep. got a rope tied to that. How long do you want the lead and where are you going in the water to? I'm going to jump in roughly where I saw her disappear. Okay. Um, hopefully that doesn't mean that I land right on top of her. That wouldn't be good. Might startle the critter though. It. Okay. okay. I'm far enough down. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm pretty heavy. Hopefully I sink a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The water is the water at this point now is about 10 feet deep. Because it's back up it's to its what? normal height. Huh? It's Sorry? about it's back up to its normal height? Yeah. Okay. So that's gonna be about 10 feet. So All right. Uh yeah, I don't imagine considering it's underwater and I don't have a swim speed, I don't imagine my walking speed means it jack so um <laughs> well since since ariana was unable to get away from it and it was dragging her under the water i'm going to put them about right here at this point okay so okay. i would jump i would move what around here deeper or that's whatever you want to do all right that's where i'll jump in i mean hopefully i can see them once i jump in okay uh how well do you swim and how tall how are well you? do I swim? How tall are you? I am quite tall. Let me check. I, I don't did. think you're 11 feet tall. But... I'm not 11 feet tall. I am 6'5". Okay. So uh, you're horse paddling to stay on top of the water, or are you allowing yourself to go under the water? At the moment, I'm allowing myself to go under. 
okay. and just sort of counting on that rope to to be a, a, a lifeline for me to get back up. All right. Um, I do have a decent athletics. All right. So you go under and you feel the weight of this rope as you are being pushed against it. Not super hard, but there is definitely a current here that is drawing yeah. northward in the water. And ahead of you, you do see Ariana. And there is something gripping her and trying to drag away. And it, it's an odd looking uh, dog cat combination with a hand for a tail. Oh, now alone in the world was a little cat dog. Um, <laughs> yeah, not having it. Not, not, not a fan of that. Um, unfortunately, so let's see. I have a bonus <laughs> action left. And let's see if I have any bonus action spells. I have exactly. I do have some bonus action spells, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm going to actually cast magic weapon on my, what do I want to use here? I've got a javelin, but I don't want to throw it and then just not have it. You can use a javelin like a spear, can't you? Just to have a melee option? I can. I can okay. if I... If, if but a better melee option in, in fact i'm just going to pull my battle axe my new one because you do you and get I'm disadvantage gonna... for fighting underwater if i don't um, have a swim speed yes i should have disadvantage okay i'm i'm still stuck in pathfinder where like there were certain things that didn't have disadvantage remember, for fighting underwater and... no I, I i i ran an underwater combat not too long ago and i remember looking up the rules and i believe you get disadvantage if you don't have a swim speed Z, Z, Z posted it in the thing. Thank you, Z. Uh, oh, it is disadvantage well? depending on the weapon you're using. What weapon are you using? Unless it's a javelin. Oh, okay. In that case, uh, screw the axe. I am pulling out my javelin and casting magic weapon on that. They're aerodynamic. Um, <laughs> Aquadynamic. Yeah. Aquadynamic, yeah. Oh, Aquadynamic. Hyd hydrodynamic. Hi that's the right one. Or spear you. fishing. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so that, that's my bonus action, and that is my turn. Let me go All right. That well, that meat brings us back up to the uh, creature who is going to uh, sense the disturbance in the water because when something as big as a man horse jumps into the water, there's quite a bit of displacement that takes place. Can't involve. Yeah. <laughs> and it is going to drag Ariana down and climb on top of her facing agrios kind of in this this is mine type of a look and it is actually going to open its mouth and bare its teeth which it has many and they are sharp and then it is going to lash out with one of its claws kind of half warning half attack Towards Agrios. And oh my gosh, that's a 22. That'll hit. hit. That'll okay. hit. For and sure. So you're oh my gosh. My my dice are rolling rather high tonight. <laughs> Lay it on me. It's okay. I'll uh, be all right. I'm a big that, boy. That is going to be nine slashing damage as a warning that this oh. is my meal. That's not so much a warning as a <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say nine as a warning. That's a declaration <laughs> of war. Yeah. I didn't care for that. Um, Ariana, you're up. Oh, good. Um, is, am I still grappled then? Can it yes, maintain a grapple while you attacking? Are at this okay. point still grappled, yes. Um, because it's, it's, it's designed for such a thing. But I will give it disadvantage if you're trying to break the grapple. I was going to say, I think I'm going to try to break out. Yeah, because I could try and stab it with my short sword, but I think I'm just going to try to get out of here. Um, da, 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 da. Maybe he's lucky again. I'm going to try a different die. We're going we're gonna to switch it up a little bit. Because that was a seven. We've done nine, eight, seven so far. 
Oh, that is a, little, a 17. That's okay. I rolled a one. Hooray! I made a comment about my dice rolling well, and now they're mad at me. <laughs> um, so you are able to break free of the tail, uh, but you oh, are still cool. at the bottom of this river with this... Uh, it's a small creature, but it's still got a little bit of weight to it. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to push off and try to swim for the top. Okay. Uh, I th- uh, just uh, athletics check to move yep. my movement? or Let's do that. Make sure you can get away from it and get going. Cool. He's lucky again. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a three. <laughs> You just really are trying to drown, aren't you? That's a two. That's a six total. All right. Um, you are able to break away and get out from under the creature, but you've been under the water, and this is salty water. So it is getting to your eyes. Your vision is not clear. And as such, you think you're going to the surface, but with everything around, you kind of get lost as to where you are, and you flounder. Flounder? Uh, you halibut? Whatever. You flounder a bit where you are in the water. And Agrios. Okay. Uh, how far away from me is this is this creature? Uh, I think the map's accurate, so five feet. Okay. Okay. It's right there then. Uh, yeah, and right I, saw Ari- I saw Ariana get away. You saw her get away, and now she's thrashing about in the water. Uh, right. I will. I will point out to She's... you that you are at the end of your rope. <laughs> Feels that way. Uh, <laughs> so she she hasn't surfaced yet. No, she has not. All right. Well, she can probably climb my rope if she wanted to. Um, pull herself up if she needed to. But uh, I'm gonna She'll try have to roll and hit better this than thing. a two. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that, Agrius? I'm gonna I'm gonna decide to hit this thing. Okay. I don't like it very much. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lash out with my javelin. All right. Okay, so what is that to hit? That is, well, let me actually equip the javelin, sorry. Uh, That is an 18 to hit. That is a hit. Phew. Is about to be real concerned. And that is six piercing damage. And now I am going to uh, use my War Priest feature to attack again as a bonus action. Okay. And that time it's a dirty 20 to hit with seven piercing damage. All right. So a total of 13 piercing. Oh, wait, I forgot. Uh, I cast magic weapon on this thing, so it has a plus one to both of those for damage, I believe. So that's okay, actually so two more 15. damage on top of that. So we're at 15 yep. piercing damage. All right. Yep, that's it. All right, very good. The creature, well, well first off, um, you hit it with a melee attack. I did. So I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Okay. I have an important question regarding that. Yes. Z pointed out earlier that uh, Bless could not have applied to that skill check that I made. And I didn't include it in it, but I accounted for that. But go ahead. Okay. So it was a seven. You, you said you used sti- it. And you said you I used still, it. So I did but say you I used couldn't it. All right. Never mind. Technically, Let's go so ahead. It's kind of like if somebody casts a spell that can't affect a creature, uh, I'm That's still going to consider it spent. <laughs> Bless, yep. bless is ongoing. Yeah, bless is ongoing, though. Yeah. Oh, okay, so am Good I still blessed? For, how long does it last? Yeah, uh, uh, it, it lasts for a minute for concentration. I, like, in world, she's probably having trouble concentrating. Yeah, but I, I haven't thinking. taken any damage, so damage yeah. is what provokes them. So I'm happy to make a, con- a concentration check if you'd like now, because I think that's Let, fair. Let's do that. Let's, let's try and keep it okay. fairly fair here. Fairly fair? That's a 19. I think that's good enough. <laughs> so yes, you still can't argue, can argue with that dice. Yes. 
Uh, in that case, with the D4 from Bless, that is an 18. All right. In that case, congratulations, you made the save. So. Because I rolled a four on that D4, so thank you very much. And at, so as you attach, attack with this javelin, your hand scrapes across the back of this thing and stops just short of being impaled by the spikes of its hair. Ooh. So you just kind of okay. graced luckily on that one. I forgot about it. This, I forgot about the Sonic the Hedgehog hair. <laughs> that spiny kitty. The creature, however, is uh, going to attempt to uh, grab you with its tail claw. It's going to go for one of your front legs. So I am going to need a uh, strength saving throw from you. Mm -hmm. and that is a better one for me, a little bit. Dirty 20. All right, you make that one. And the creature lashes in with this and puts so much of its effort into it it kind of throws it off balance under the water it immediately turns back around though not to give you uh, its backside to aim at but that's going to be it for it at the moment ariana i i guess i'm going to try to get away again <laughs> Well, at this point, I think it's just a matter of swimming. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to swim then. If I can just swim, take my but whole move you're so action, You're a bit disoriented, everything. so the big thing is rolling sufficiently that uh, you're not disoriented and swimming nowhere. Wonderful. Well, that's a 16 on the die, plus athletics is a dirty mm -hmm. 20. Excellent. All right, so you're able to... Thank get direction less. and make your way to the surface with that i'm going to pause this for just a moment and ask what everybody else is doing because you said you were going to go meet up with so the bridge is no longer there uh you know they were doing the rocks so you would either have to go past the water wheel you know along the bank or further in to the village to make your way down uh, to where they're at or find some other way across the river would we so have what, heard what the sounds? Of, sorry, would we have heard the sounds of loud water interactions? Uh, I would say there would pro the people who were helping would probably be yelling or something, especially at the point Agros jumps into the water. So there would definitely be noise. You would know something is going on. Okay, then Adrastos would probably be looking for the path of least resistance to that. Okay. Yeah, agreed. Uh, the path of least resistance would be the uh, making it across that gap for the water wheel onto that small island and then over. That would be the shortest route to where they're at. All right. Well, then Adrastos is going to book it. And that would not be any dramatic leap either to make it across there. It's not very far. So. Okay. Well, that's what I want to do. I don't know what the rest want to do. Yeah, Vara would follow and, and kind of look reassuringly at um, Tali, shaping water if ever necessary, if anyone were to fall or slip or anything like that. I will follow as close as I can, but much further than I, I want, to, like, than, than they might want me to. Uh, I'll probably still be here, but uh, if, if, yeah, if I have to cross the water over here, I'll, I'll be a little hesitant and, and stay here and just kind of scout out for now. I'll, okay. I will. Uh, seeing though the the rapids of the water and how long Ariana seems to have gone in, or at least the two of them have gone in, could I assume that there's something there that's impeding them from swimming up, or are they just spending a lot of time up there? I think that would be a character thing to make an assumption like that. I will point out, however, one thing that we didn't discuss with this, there is actually a blockade of wood right here that Ariana helped build to keep the water from going into that area. So it, it wouldn't be a very wide, I mean, we're probably talking six inches wide or something, but it could be like a footbridge or something if you wanted to try to cross that way. If there is like a footbridge or something like that, uh, I will try to cross on it then. Okay. Try to cross over here. 
uh, and be on the lookout with them. Okay. Uh, I think because of what you're trying to cross and also Vara said that she would help with shape water or anything, we'll just say even if you slipped, you'd be able to make it across fairly easily. So we'll just get you cool. across there. Okay. Perfect. Tikaros, you were doing an investigation. Yeah, that I guess that would be my question. Tikaros would have gone probably through all of these buildings in that general direction. Okay. So depending on the timing, like if she heard shouts and all of commotion, she would stop. But if she had time to do an investigation, she'd be just going through those buildings on her way through. Okay. I yeah. think you could investigate up until the point you heard the noises. Uh, so what, what was your role? She is certain that she has found amazing clues with her minus one. As you look around, uh, you notice some things. Um, the grinding wheel is not moving. Okay. And it, there appears to be a lot of tension on it. And as you look around at, at the grinding stones, you notice there are handprints. And if you look really close, you might even be able to make out a fingerprint from some of the hands in this, this milled flower that uh, is laying on the stone. Gold mine. This is it. I've cracked the case. And she would immediately try and find anybody else. And I assume would hear commotion at that point. Yep. And so you would come outside and see uh, Ptolemaeus, Adrastos, and Vara standing on this island. Um, Agrios nowhere to be seen and Ariana just breaks the surface of the water in this triumphant <laughs> wow because if she swims okay. like 30-20 I mean it's got to be good right yeah, water exactly. ballet oh absolutely her ponytail looks real good <laughs> like a seahorse exactly yeah. so that's that's uh, Agrios <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that was so bad. Uh, and with that, I, I believe we are back to Agrios's uh, turn. All right. So I have a couple of questions. First of all, how many rounds can I hold my breath for? I'm actually uh, one plus rules. your constitution in minutes. So I don't think anybody oh, is in in trouble of drowning at this. Point, okay. So because I was about to ask my follow up question, which is how much of that air did I lose by casting a spell with a verbal component underwater? <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least one oh, round, yes. but come on, you've got minutes to go, so you're fine. Yeah, yeah exactly. All right. But I like that. that. Case, uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, in that case, Agrios is going to try once again to stab this thing. Stabby, stabby. Uh, more stabbings. Uh, that is not great. That's a seven to hit. So I'm going to go ahead and invoke. I'm going to go ahead and channel divinity after seeing the roll, which I, I can do before I hear the result. Okay. Uh, to add plus 10 to the roll. So it's a 17. Okay. That's a hit. Okay. And you uh, still have less. Oh, and I still have Bless. Okay, I will remember that. Thank you. Um, that is another seven piercing. And then right. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, War Priest, um, bonus action attack. Make sure to add the E4 in there. Okay, that's definitely going to hit. That is a, I mean, I might as well. I rolled a natural 19, so. Yeah, that's but, a hit. Uh, and then that is six piercing damage. All right. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting the magic weapon damage. That's that's two more again. Sorry. Okay. All right. So those of uh, you who are on the surface, uh, you notice there are bits of blood showing up on the top of the water. Now the water's moving, so it's kind of the streak, but the color of blood in water is unmistakable. And as mentioned, you see Ariana break the water. And let's see, that was Agrios that just went. So Adrastos, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put your turn in here because I ac accidentally skipped you on it. Actually, let me, let me reorder all this. Way? I'm sorry? How's this thing looking, by the way? Sorry, I just want to know after I hit it. 
like four times. It it's it's a pretty strong looking creature, uh, but it definitely has some major wounds at this point. Okay, all right. I'm gonna and stick actually, with it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm I'm going to jump to Tikaros and uh, then Adrastos because they've already they've rolled initiative in there. I haven't rolled initiative. Oh. What do you show up I think in my that's initiative? An old then? One. Yeah, it I may think be. That's okay, from never last mind. One. Tikaros, you've you've rolled initiative, so you're in here, but you're on the land. I'll go ahead uh, and roll my initiative now. Yeah, are okay. we supposed to roll them now? Yeah, let's go ahead. If look, just go ahead and roll it, Ptolemaeus. Let's go ahead and get you all in here, and then I'll resort, and we'll just start from the top and make cool. it easy. This is the hard part about adding people into oh. conflict. Mm -hmm. Apologies. I, no, no, no. Yeah, no. I don't. I still don't have uh, the the thing able to be linked because browser. But I did have a uh, an eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, I will yeah. get you added in here, sir. Thank you. All right. Well, what would normally happen is Agrios is at the bottom of the order, so we would have gone back to the water beast. So I'm just going to follow the path down, and then bring you guys in. So. This creature is quite unhappy with you at the moment, Agrios, and it is going to uh, once cool. again lash out with its tail. And that is a 24 to hit. Uh, that'll just barely make it. Just barely. <laughs> just barely. Uh, mm -hmm. I need you to make a uh, strength check for me, DC 14. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I was going to ask about Bless, but that's not going to help me because that's an out one. <laughs> your javelin is yanked from your hand by its tail. Oh. And then it, nice. in a burst of speed, swims past the side of your body and uh, goes for your backside. Oh, I don't and like that, that is going to be a... Uh, a 17 as it attempts to bite you. Nope. Quick, quick question. Oh, okay, yes. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, I was going to ask if, I, if I'm able to see any of it. From... It's mostly happening under the water, so you can see the blood and you can see the churn <laughs> of it. something going on, but not Wait, exactly. Is it possible as happening. a free action for Ariana to have said, there's something down there. <coughs> Agrios is biting it. <laughs> Perfect. Here's an important question. I know you said it's at my backside, uh -huh. but is that just descriptor or does that mean that like my shield wouldn't apply or anything like that? It literally moved past you towards to behind you to attack. Okay. Could I have then like could I could I say that I have been like rotated to block with the shield? I'm I'm sure that would be fine. I don't have an issue with that. All right. All right. In that case, yeah, 17 does not hit. Okay. Very good. And with that, Ptolemaeus, you're up. This is everything. It's like the worst freaking nightmare come true. Every all happening at once. Um, Ptolemaeus is gonna walk f forward after hearing what um Ariana mentioned, and immediately kind of bend down over the water to see if I could get a, a better view. And I'll see if I'm able to uh, notice at least where Agrios is right. at all. Uh, give me a perception check. And uh, if, if you succeed on it, I won't consider it your action. Uh, I'll let you do it kind of as a bonus. Okay, it is a 14. Okay, you can kind of, I mean, it's, it's not a great view. The water is churny and, and nasty, and you're going to have to get really close to it but you can kind of make out shapes and they're a good 15, 20 feet away from where you're at presently. Perfect. Then I'm basically going to be crouched down, kneeling and uh, keeping Agrios and the creature visible. And you will see that I'm, I'm death gripping the grass that's next to it, but I'm like as close to the water as I can be. But okay. uh, I just want to be in view of it for now. 
and that will be my turn. Okay, very good. Vara. Let's see. Um, where is that? Okay. I guess I would just be trying to um, shape water, honestly. I'm just okay. kind of, I think I'll, I'll kind of take a support role in terms of fighting this creature. I know, I know Agrius will be able to do a lot more damage if he can do melee. So if I can try to shape the water from here to where Agrios can just stand rather than worry about swimming, um, that's what I'm going to try to do. Okay. Uh, what is your range and what is the size of an area that you can... It's 30 feet. Um, Definitely so in here... range. Definitely yeah, so from here range. I'm in range. Um, it's a five-foot cube, so it won't be perfect, but I can get a pretty decent amount of aggros in the five-foot cube. All right. Sounds good to me. So Obviously agrios... five feet from, like, top of heads. So it, <laughs> it'd just be, like, knees still in water, but you've got kind of this, this air cube around you so you can breathe again and actually do a melee attack. Granted, it'd still be going into water, I guess, but... However you want to do that. You know. Very good. So, Agrios, the area around you just suddenly opens up. Sure. And there's water above you, <laughs> below you, and all around. But you are in a five-foot cube of uh, air from nowhere. So It should be <laughs> a vacuum, it. but I'm going to say there's air. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Adrastos. Okay. So Adrastos is a very reactive personality. So he sees Ariana bobbing up. There's something down there. Agros is fighting and he sees blood and he's like, well, nope, he's not going to get to have all the fun. Dives right into the water. All right. So you have your shield with you when you dive or are you leaving anything behind or are you trying to swim with all this gear? Um, so I'm going to have my shield and I'm going to take... Um, kind of just held in my shield hand three javelins. Okay. All right. Very good. So you dive in, and where where are you headed? Um, to where the blood was coming from, and where if I can see Agrios, where he and the critter are. So kind of like hereish. Once you're in the water, I think you'd be able to to tell it fairly well. It's the surface of the water is what's so rough. So I think you'd be okay. able to see once you were in it. My my goal is to <laughs> throw a javelin keep swimming forward and then like throw two javelins swim as far as i can so that i can hit it with my sword next turn so you are throwing while underwater yes okay that's what i'm trying to make sure i'm understanding exactly what you're doing here yes because i want to get a good beat on it once i'm in the water so i can hit it okay all right so my first Javelin. So it's going to have to be. Uh... No, nope, you get you don't get disadvantage. It's a javelin, so great. I just wanted to make so my sure my first that... javelin will miss. Oh, oh, that's a shame. That's okay. It didn't miss um, with a nat one. I hope. No, I did not. Okay, good. <laughs> and then I will. Throw my second one. All right. A 19. That is a hit. Excellent. Well, that's piddly. Uh, five damage. All right. Five piercing damage. Okay. And then you said you um, wanted to move in for... Yes, I want to get close, as close as I can. I'm going to update the token because technically, since this thing moved behind, it would be over here. Um, um, so you would probably be somewhere in there. If I can, um, I'm going to... Would I be able to move within five feet of Agrios? Uh, you can move a little closer if you wanted to. Okay, so I'm going to move here. 
And because I have a 35 foot speed, can I then spend five feet to switch places with Agrios and use my bait and switch ability? Sure, absolutely. Okay, no. so I'm going to swim down, see Agrios kind of give him a nod and like scoop him behind my shield. Okay. In sort of like a, you go over the top, I'll keep you covered kind of way. And I'm going to give him by expending one of my superiority die. Plus seven to his AC for the next turn. All right. So your tokens will swap. Uh, Agrios, you suddenly uh, find yourself no in longer in, no longer in air, but you're back in the water. And Adrastos, you suddenly find yourself in a pocket of air. Well, at least your AC is high. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you didn't have your mouth open at the time you were pulled, Agrios. <laughs> Uh, if he now hold on, <laughs> if you are unwilling to do this, it doesn't happen. And if you if you give me like the no, then I won't do it. Uh, it. It does say you have to be willing. And if you if you give him the I'm good here, that gets wiped. Uh, Agrius actually kind of likes his air pocket. Okay, <laughs> then um, I will not do that. All right, I'll put you guys back where you were. Sorry. No, don't be sorry. It is okay. I was trying to be beneficial. If it's not beneficial, it's not going to happen. <laughs> to be right. completely honest, I forgot the air pocket. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. Ariana. Context. <laughs> Sentences out of context. I forgot about the air pocket. Um... <laughs> I do have a spear, I believe. Oh no, I have a javelin and a spear. Um, I am going to climb up on the embankment if I can get there with just movement. Okay, is that a fair? Uh, if you get to the side, not yeah, you you've got plenty of movement space. I think you're fine. So. Okay. Um, now looking down, um, I think what I'm can I hold an action that if this thing surfaces, I'll throw a javelin at it. I'm good with that. Okay, that's what I'll do. All right. Very good. And Tikaros. Oh, man. Amazing clues found, but I'm feeling useless over here. <laughs> so what she will try and do is probably, is there a way over the broken water wheel? If Could she just kind of use her, like, kind of jumping legs to jump it over is, there? It is tied and blocked, so it is fairly fixed. So absolutely you would be able to do that. Yeah, she's going to do that and just, Get over beside um, Tolly and Vara on the bank here, and I don't know. She feels useless. So what she'll do is probably just, out of a reaction, just probably get ready with a firebolt. And if she sees the creature surface, she would just hurl because she's heard that there's something down there. So that's okay. probably what she would do. All right. Very good. I believe we are at Agrios next. Aha. Uh, Agrios, after after uh, presumably resisting being uh, guarded, um, uh, finding himself in a pocket of air, opens his mouth, takes a breath, and then uses it uh, with his now free hand, reaching up and touching the the holy emblem on his shield, which glows red briefly. Um, his hand is sort of covered in this sort of black energy as uh, he says in in minotaur um, may your heart decay within your chest as he reaches out and does a uh, second level inflict wounds all right very good uh, let me go ahead and roll for that uh, the question is does bless apply to melee spell attacks or is yeah, it just, is I, it, think it's, it's I think it's any attack. Yeah. 
Oh, nice. Okay. Well, that's going to hit. That is a uh, 24. All right. Absolutely. And let me see if I can get 40, 10. Hmm. All right. Twenty-eight necrotic damage. All right. This creature looks to be in very, 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 very poor condition. As uh, blood yeah. continues to fill the water, but now the blood is kind of no longer that bright red. It's kind of an acrid blackish color moving into it, but there's a lot of blood in the water. And the creature looks very wounded and actually seems to go somewhat limp floating in the water. Uh, he seems disappointed that he didn't just kill it, but that's it. That's his turn. Mm -hmm. Very good. And as you are looking at this creature, which is now kind of limp in the water, the blood flows up. Uh, you catch motion out of the corner of your eye, something approaching at a very rapid speed. And suddenly something swoops in, snatches up that creature in its mouth as it flows past you. And uh, a shark has come in and gone for the body of this thing. And it is a fairly large shark. And uh, with one bite, it has swallowed this thing, and it swims and turns. There's always a bigger fish. Yeah, there's always a bigger fish. And the question is, which one of you looks like a better meal? Drassos is going to just look at the audience, just look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that fourth wall. <laughs> well, I think you were close enough to, to the blood and stuff that it could be either one of you, but the vision of the shark is going to be distorted somewhat by this air pocket that is surrounding Agrios. So it's going to only see one clear target remaining. Ah, uh, yes, water. the juxtaposition when the goldfish and, hunts the kitty. <laughs> that would be a drastos. <laughs> And uh, this shark is going to come charging in. Holy cow. And that is going to be a 25 to hit. Real quick, since I've been staring at that entire time, can I use a reaction to cast Silvery Barbs? Yes. And I blow a pocket, kind of like a, a pocket of just a small little refractory uh, sound wave right into the shark to give it disadvantage as i also use that same uh pocket of sound wave to give uh adrastos a little bit of a a pep in a step and give him an, an advantage with that as well excellent i love it uh okay so my second roll since i am now with disadvantage is a 19. you're muted <laughs> Sorry, that still hits. Okay. It's fine, Very you got good. advantage, so it's okay. Yeah, I did, and I appreciate it. And that is going to be 13 piercing damage as the Ow. shark comes by and takes a bite out of Adrastos. I'm going Yikes. to have a word with him on my turn. <laughs> uh, Ptolemaeus, you had a reaction there, but it is now your turn. I kind of... Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, all right. Fudge so, that, but what the heck. Uh, the rest of you, oh. your actions were held specifically on that creature, and this is a new creature, so that's why I'm... Um, I don't want to get anywhere close closer to the water. And uh, <laughs> I have a short bow. But I feel like since it is at disadvantage, 
I might shoot my t- my my <laughs> friends than than that shark. But uh, let's try it anyways. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> try to shoot. I'll take out my short bow and stand up and take my short bow and immediately try to shoot at the new creature that is attacking Adrastos. All right. It is not a crossbow, so it is at disadvantage. I lose my nat 20, <laughs> but I do get a 21. Okay. Well, that's good. That's a hit. Awesome. The nat 20 would have been better, but you know. <laughs> it would have been a little better, yeah. That's what it is. Uh, that would be four points of damage, though. All right. And I'll just, without another word, just continuously stare into the water, trying to keep an eye on everything as to uh, be able to support them if I can. All right, very good. That's at the end of my turn. Vara. Um, so for the cantrip... It's technically like instantaneous. Um, I can cause the water to form into simple shapes and animate at your direction. This change lasts for an hour. But there's not really... If you cast this spell multiple times and you can dismiss such an effect as an action. So I think... So do I need to recast shape water or is it just kind of permanently about? Well, it lasts for an, it says it lasts for an hour, and we are nowhere near an hour. Yeah, I mean, so there's like a couple bullet points. One of them, like you can also the water to form into simple shapes and animate. Yeah, okay, chain lasts for an hour. Okay, great. Um, cool. So I guess that's just gonna continue. And then if I could go ahead and do, um. Let's see. I don't know if Thunder would be a good idea. I think I'm just going to go ahead and try to do Guiding Bolt at the creature. Okay. Is it still submerged or is it yeah. seeable? Okay. It, it's under the water, but how does that impact you, spells? I'm I'm not gonna let it impact a spell at this point. Perfect. So, uh, we have already we have already said that it's you know it's it's kind of a blurry thing, but you can basically make out what's going on. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do guiding bolt then. Um E-T-O-D. Is this going to roll for me? Uh, I see There's an 11, that, I think. An 11, which uh, does not hit. Okie dokes. Jurat. All right. Okay. Yep. All right. Adrastos. Okay. Um, so this shark is like on top of me now, right? Yes, it's right in your zone. It just bit you. Uh, it has not moved out of <laughs> that zone. Okay, so I have advantage from Tully, which becomes disadvantage for using a melee weapon underwater. So it depending on what the we- depending on what the weapon is, what weapon are it you is going my to sword. Use? Okay, that would be disadvantage. Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is Unless I'm going to a short, short sword. sword. It is not a short sword. Okay. <laughs> um, I am going to expend a superiority die, and I'm going to use fainting attack to give myself advantage. Okay. You so, already have advantage, by the way. But it's taken over by the disadvantage. Okay, so you... Well, so you're giving yourself a disadvantage because he's underwater advantage. with your advantage, which negates it, and then Cancels he's trying out, to advantage on top advantage. of that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's a double uh-huh. secret probation. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. So, yes, if this attack hits, I will also do an additional D8 damage. All right. Let's see. 
I missed. I got a an eleven. All right, that definitely is a miss. That is okay. I have another attack. Um, but I don't have advantage on this one. So of course the one that doesn't get the bonus hits uh 25. All right. Well that's a hit. I mean, you know. Yeah. Uh, I hate Knock to it. be the one to say this, but it that that's also at disadvantage because you don't get another advantage. Yeah, oh, I think hey. he said he rolled it with disadvantage. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. No, I, I thought he said he you. did. My mishearing. So. Uh, that is a miss. <laughs> okay. But I am full of rage. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, action search. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> Fucking. Um, teacher, you forgot to pick up the homework. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, okay. Sorry. Don't feel bad because he just did the exact same <laughs> thing in the comments. I don't know. 13? Uh, 13 hits. It? Yes! Ah, <laughs> take that, you stupid fish. Um, 11 slashing. And then mm -hmm. I have another attack, I think, because action so rich. Mm -hmm. Let me read it. Uh, yep. I'm surgeon. Uh, Ah, uh, miss. But I hit him one, out of four attacks with disadvantage. One hit is fine, honestly. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, that will be my turn. All right. Ariana. Well, I good think I'm going to try and throw a javelin at the shark if I can see it from where I am. Um, throw that javelin. Oh, that is a number. <laughs> well, good because if the letters <laughs> come up on there, I am not doing algebra for D and D. Wait a minute. It is. <laughs> uh, I'm not used to my thing here. Uh, plus four for the javelin. So that is a seventeen. That is a hit. Wonderful. And the D6 plus two. That's a one. Uh three damage. <laughs> All right. And Very good. that is it, I think. All right. Tikaras. Yes. Firebolt! Tikaras <laughs> yells out. And with one hand she clasps the little stone necklace around her neck. And with the other hand, she does a very flourishy type movement with her arm and she just pushes forward a little bolt of fire into the water at the creature for a 18 to hit that's a hit yeah take that fishy <laughs> a massive four points of damage all right excellent anything else yes i will just yell out in the style of Ariana, pep talk to everybody who's fighting the fish. You can do it. I know you can do it. Smack it in its face. She'll just be do trying to do a really cool Ariana thing from the bank. I love it. I just want you to know, Tikaros, I thought you just yelled out pep talk. And I was like, yes, good. <laughs> so did I. I was very excited. <laughs> pep talk. <laughs> Oh, great. I love it. Um, <clears throat> Agrios. Okay. Agrios is going to use uh, his bonus action first. Uh, he is going to reach out and uh, utter in, in Minotaur, uh, Lord Mogus, grant me the power of your mighty axe. And he's going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. And uh, an axe appears in the middle of the water. <laughs> Fortunately, it doesn't have to obey the laws of physics. And so doesn't, it's, it's no disadvantage or anything like that. Check. 
uh, it immediately makes a melee spell attack. Let's see if it hits. That ought to hit. That's a, I mean, it's a natural 18 plus five. So yeah, 23. It, it, it hits. <laughs> it hits. Uh, that is uh, 10 force damage. All right. And then for his action, he is going to take that uh, open that open hand, close it into a fist, and knock it against his shield. And when he does a a sort of deep boom, sort, uh, reverberates through the water, and he casts Toll the Dead. It has to make a Wisdom saving throw. Uh, DC is. I think he's already doubting his wisdom at this point. DC thirteen. And that's a fail. All right. Uh, let me find my D12 at one. Uh, that is 10 necrotic damage. <laughs> All right. And that's my turn. All right. Uh, with all this, the very wounded, uh, broken, finless, <laughs> losing lost a couple of teeth uh shark um besides he's had enough and turns to swim away attack of opportunity for agrios or adrastos i would like to grab his tail <laughs> just oh no you don't <laughs> uh technically i'm not wielding a weapon right now can you uh, attack of opportunity with natural weapons because i do have hooves Sounds good to me. I don't see why not. So right. Because I'm attempting it's to grapple, do I have disadvantage? Not in this case. Just roll it. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm trying to help the shark out. I mean, he's not getting away, obviously. You know what? <laughs> no, I, I'm very angry at this shark, and role play is more important than optimism to me, or optimization. I'm going to superiority die to give myself advantage. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, 16. So that's I think a hit. I got him. That's a hit. Uh, or, so or well, a, gra I'm just, a grapple in this case. Yeah, I'm just trying to grapple. Okay. So technically, you're not supposed to be able to grapple on opportunity attack. But again, I'm trying to wrap this up for the shark's sake, so I don't care. Uh, Agrius. Okay, well, if you don't if you don't want me to grapple, it's just a claw attack. And that's what I figure. Either, we'll either way, you're going to attack we'll him or grab him. So. We'll see if I get him. Uh, that is a, that's only a 14 to hit um, with seven bludgeoning that, damage. That is a hit and that is enough to kill it. So, and I did eight bludgeon, or I did eight slashing. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, so. I'm kind of looking at it. Adrastos grabbed him as Agrios came in and it was a team effort. Yep, yep. <laughs> just tear his tail off. You just got Caved this in guy. its rib cage or something with my hooves. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so you now have a, a whole bunch of shark meat available, as this was wow. a hunter shark, a very large shark. And actually, there's probably some kind of a cat beast in its belly. So, hey, you know, it's like, yeah, a I want to I want to take that out and look at that thing and be like, is that native to this area? Is that supposed to be here? <laughs> like, ask the natives. I so I assume I assume you are all going to make your way out of the water at this point. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, as yeah. soon as possible. I'm just gonna pull myself up with my uh, with my rope. Okay. So that would put you and Ariana on the far side of the water. Adrastos, which way are you coming out of the water? And are you bringing the shark with you or leaving it? Oh, I'm bringing the shark with me. Okay, because Agri said he wanted to, you know, do a. Oh, you better forensic. believe that shark is coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> I love the concept of Adrastos being just very quiet and, and and self, you know, inward, and then suddenly being like, shark, attack, attack, shark. <laughs> it's very funny. I'm, I'm actually probably going to take its jaws and do something cool with it, like on my shoulder. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Right. Shark pauldron. Make you all a shark tooth necklace. <laughs> <laughs> All no, right. The 90s are coming back. This one's <laughs> special. I pulled it out of my side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are out of 
initiative and out of combat. So you all make it out of the water. Uh, you were able to clear some of the stones away enough to make a path through, obviously, because the shark got through. Uh, so you've got enough rocks out of the way that it is at least a clear path. Whew. We got our rocks off. Good night, everybody. <laughs> I, I, however you guys want to get back across the water, they'll bring, somebody will bring a rowboat across and pick you up if you would like. Sorry. Wherever you want to go with this, God, I'm just don't be. distancing myself from that last comment as far as possible. Uh, <laughs> uh, is the water still rising? It's actually stabled out at about the normal height of the river. But it is still flowing backwards. The wrong way. Yes. I see. Interesting. I don't know why Tamin <laughs> fights me in these games. What was that? <laughs> I didn't I said, hear that. I, don't know why, I said, I don't know why you invite me to these games. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's exactly why. I thought it was obvious. <laughs> so you can talk about poking people's balls and get your rocks off. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Leaving the fingerprints as well. Don't forget about <laughs> and that. Leaving yes. fingerprints. Yes. Leaving yes. the fingerprints Don't... on their balls. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. Implications to that. This, this was obviously the dumbest idea I ever came up with for a weapon. That's all I can say. <laughs> Could have made it anything. Could have made it an acorn. No, then it would have been nut jokes. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. I don't know. Oh, there's no escaping it, Tam. Yeah, no. we would have found something. Yeah. Yeah. I can't oh, yes. we could have made it a spear, and we would have had all the jokes about a, a sh the shaft. Yes, yes correct. Yes. <sighs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, getting us back into it. <laughs> Meanwhile, back uh, in the Hall of Justice. <laughs> <laughs> I. Ptolemaeus, I'm going to uh, walk back over, back on shore, but like visibly kind of still white knuckled, holding on to the short bow. Nothing has kind of changed. There's still very close to water and whatnot, but uh, yeah, pretty much just wait, making sure that everybody gets back on the shore safe. Okay, very good. So where are you all going once you get back on uh, the shore? Um, I guess if it doesn't look like we have to evacuate, should we find, uh, if this is kind of a, a stopover, is there like an inn or something? There is not. It really was never set up for that because most of the time it was just a, a temporary stop and moving on. Right. Uh, is the guard guy still here? Well, he's, there's not really any guards, but you mean the guy you were talking guard. to? At the, the, the guy beginning. who was acting as guard. Absolutely. Absolutely. He, he is in the boathouse. Okay. Um, uh, is it, uh, perhaps it's best for us to wait for our friend. Um, is there anywhere in town that would... Lend us a barn to stay in? Well, I, I suppose you could stay here in the boathouse. What are you going to do with that shark? I assume uh, you're dragging the shark with you. <laughs> they are, I'm sure. Agrius is actually going to try and slice it open and get that other corpse out. It's good food. Okay. I um, just want the jaws. It's good food. I can carve it. We can leave much of it for you, for the town, uh, salt it. I hear it makes good soup. If Agrius no gets that other thing out, if he gets yeah. that other thing out, he's actually going to be walking their way with it. So I guess this is the question. Do you stop on the way to do this? Or are you going to bring it in the boathouse? We'll bring it in the boathouse, I think. Okay, because there's there's big tables in there. You know, it's, yeah. it's good. It's, it's where they bring... Catches a fish, so. All right, so um, you slice it open, and uh, you find two halves of this thing because the shark took a bite and then came back and swallowed it. So this thing. Is uh, I'll, a I'll, I'll take pieces. the top half, the more recognizable, and uh, I'll drag it over to our guard friend if I can. 
All right. Unfortunately, I don't think I have a picture that I can show you uh, online of it, but uh, basically that is what it looks like. Okay. I okay. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, you know what? Actually, it's back half is really weird too. So I'm going to drag both halves over, mm -hmm, make it mm -hmm. double distinct. I'm too. I'm two fisting this thing. Um, As you did. Uh, look, I'm not. I didn't say anything. Uh, no, 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 I'm just. I'm just grabbing it. Uh, anyway, okay. All I'm, right. You're not uh, making it better. <laughs> all right. All right, Chase. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter, okay? <laughs> this is where I live. Ridic you came ridiculous. into my house. <laughs> yeah, I drag, I drag it over there, and uh, I'll, I'll sort of toss it at the feet of, of our, our friend. What is this? Does it look familiar to you? Does it live in this area? I have no idea. I've never seen anything quite like that. <sighs> so it's not normally local? Definitely not. Mm. And it must have washed in from the bay. Oh, the things more things like this are coming up up river. I, I I worry about the port at Akros. Well, I worry about our port. We need to get moving now. Agreed. I don't think we should wait. It, we're not going to have a, a faster time on the boat if it's still, the water's still moving the other way. Is, is there, um, I'll ask the guy from here, uh, who we haven't gotten a name of yet. I'm sorry, we, in the distraction of everything, I did not catch your name. Uh, my name is Eocles. Sorry, my internet cut out. Eocles? Eocles, yep. Eocles. Spelled as Eocles. Eocles. <laughs> Eos. Eos. Yeah, so better. <laughs> Why go with Eocles when you can say Eocles? Yeah. Um, uh, Eocles, terribly sorry, Ariana. Um, is there someone here in town, or maybe a couple, like you said, there are bandits on the road that would be willing to travel to Akros to perchance give them warning? Well, we since the the riverways open we talked about maybe taking xenon's boat and that way the boat could be there for him at akros he said he sent a couple of his men back did they leave again no they we never saw anyone you were the first to come in hmm. that's unfortunate um Vara, he's your friend. Do you feel comfortable having someone take the boat to Akros? Uh, who would be doing it? Well, they, we're trying to to figure out. I mean, we're fishermen. We 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 don't really do boats that size, but basic navigation of a boat. Uh, uh, we'll probably draw in the sails and and take oars and and just follow the current. Um, unless, unless one of you is, is willing to maybe delay your journey. Well, what, what happens if the current goes back to normal halfway through the trip? You just continue up current? I guess we would, uh, well, again, we're not used to sails, uh, so I guess we'd have to, to row. So I guess you're right. We'd have to take more people and we just don't have that many. I would go on a rowboat, but if you're finding these kind of creatures like a, a, a shark, you never see a shark up, up the rivers like that. I right? I think it's safest, especially with lack of experienced crew, to just leave the boat here. I, I know it's a good idea to meet them in Agros, but he was expecting it to stay here and to meet us here, so especially with the waters being troubled as they are, to try to attempt to meet him. I mean, he may have already started his return trip back or, or, or something similar. I, I think. Well, I think I he think was going just... to, I think he was going to try and, and get a boat to come downstream. Um, something big enough to maybe help 
hoist away the blockade and until you arrived we didn't have the the, the muscle to to do such a thing but hmm. I, I i just don't know uh, i i hate for him to be on the river with it like this and no one would know i'm i'm just worried that upstream no one would know of these creatures but whatever you think is best that's a fair point they do need some kind of warning um well who is your best captain can i back them <laughs> well, we don't really have any captains again we're just fishermen we go out in our rowboats and we cast nets across the river and we we don't really have to get out and, and do any big water sailing or anything. Whoever is your most experienced on the water, who has ever dealt with the most severe weather or is the strongest, um, perhaps I could take some time before we head out to, to train them and, and make sure they know what they're doing. Well, it, it, would, it would be appreciated. Uh, we'll do our best not to damage your friend's boat. Of course. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if this would delay your journey too much. Well, um, admittedly, uh, we expected the journey to take about the length that it's taking. We had only been promised a slight shortcut, but obviously that can't happen. So no, it wouldn't be that much of a delay. Um, by the way, um, th there's a large, like an owl that has been flying around, but it's mechanical. Yes. Um, I forgot about him, it's, my friend. Uh, we didn't know if it was friendly or not it's it's alighted on the roof a few times we weren't sure what to do krista fully forgot because it's been three weeks um <laughs> i forgot about my little friend is bubo i know that's not his real name <laughs> it is now I, okay cool <laughs> he's bubo now um she'll duck her head out and go oh you've been keeping well then and offer an arm out okay and oh, it will of course hold on, on your own. I was, I'll, I'll see the owl and I was, and remember it as well. And just <laughs> yeah. like, if we have, Dracius is still back there, Nacros, we could just fly the message back with the owl. We don't need the boat or anything. We don't need to, to delay our travels or risk the lives of any of your men if the owl is able to fly back with a message. Does the owl have a new message, by the way? Oh, no, it does not. He's just, just, he's just been with us. He, yeah, he's just he's been, been with us this whole time. I just, it's just he wasn't oh. going to go in the water, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what it was. Yeah, exactly. He's just been hanging out. He was he was hanging out with a Drastos. <laughs> oh, that's why they're so... I see, I see, I see. Being yes. both pensive. Uh, yes, exactly. I think sending the message over is probably the easiest way. And... The owl will probably find it will be able to find its way back to us. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think you're correct, Ptolemies. Oh, who's got a pen? <laughs> uh, a pen? Uh, well, I've I've got a one out back for the hawks. Uh, we yeah, have a exactly. stylus and ink. Yeah. I I do my best writing in a pen. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I I suppose the note that I wrote earlier would still work <laughs> just repurpose it yeah <laughs> well this one this one's gonna go to drachios right oh because I, I i presume that's the easiest for <clears throat> google to find um i mean it definitely wouldn't be hard for the owl to find uh, xenon is pretty xenon identifiable well. <laughs> sure um i'll how about we write it out to drachios saying fyi there's a guy, Zeno, Zenon, 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 Z e n o n. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> see, okay. See, I got your deep cut, Edrazos. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll write a road to Dracios to say, hey, keep an eye out 
uh, for this guy as well. He's coming up. Uh, you guys won't be able to get down here quick because of the river, but let him know we've left. Um, yeah, and put that with the owl and send him on his way. Okay, very good. The owl will fly off uh, northward. Hoot hoot. <laughs> Sorry, hoot hoot. Unfortunately, he can't speak. Clang, clang. Clinking of metal, uh, of yeah. metal plates. Well, uh, is there anything else? Is there anything else that'll de delay us, or should we get going now? With little time to waste. Let's go. This entire time, I've just been cutting the jaw out of the shark. <laughs> I'm keeping this, <laughs> unless unless we want to see. Uh, what horrible thing washes up the river after after those? I'm willing to. We're following it back down the bay. We'll we'll probably find mm. something. Oh good. Read. You can walk on the riverside, Agrios. <laughs> Agrios is gonna make sure he takes a trophy from the other thing since uh Adrastos okay. is taking the, the jaw. The hand tail. Yeah, yeah. Ex that's exactly what I was going to say. He's going to cut off the claw from the tail and, like, oh. basically just keep a dried claw, like, hanging from one of his bags <laughs> on his back. <laughs> so a little, <laughs> little trophy. Very good. That works. Adrastos will look over and just nod. <laughs> uh, since both of you are harvesting things, um, go ahead and let's just uh, do a survival check and. See how this goes. Uh -huh. You're harvesting uh, basic dice things. have been mean to me. Let's see if so. digital RNG is nicer. Yes. Yes, it is. 18. <laughs> 20. You guys do wonderful jobs. You're craftsmen. Or crafts men, horse, and Craft catmen. So. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Nice. So right. uh, we'll assume you're rationed up and whatever you said you were going to leave what was left of the shark, I believe, Vara. So uh, we'll say you're rationed up. You did get some water skins out of this. So you're back to having water skins for those of for those of you who sacrificed nobly. You now have water skins again. Agrios has two water skins now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Real quick. For the person that realized that the pack that he has did not have a water skin at all, could I also have a water skin? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You can have my extra one. I left, yeah, I left some coins, so I, everybody's got a water skin. Perfect. <laughs> Everyone's got a water skin, and then Vara also got some smoked fish and starchy vegetables. Two birds. Very good. What time right. of day is it by now? Uh, I'd say it's it's pretty much evening at this point. It's been a full day of mm. rock moving, bridge burning. I mean, bridge yep. tearing apart, <laughs> and uh, shark fighting. And stuff. okay, so maybe we should make camp here if it's evening already. Yeah, he said the boathouse was good, or we could yeah. sit on a ship, whichever y'all's preference. Doesn't matter to me. They'll break out some hammocks if you want to uh, sleep in the boathouse. And do their best, do their best okay. to clean the uh, shark stink out of the uh, <laughs> boathouse. You know the the smell of rotting fish and uh, stuff. You know, I, Vara loves it. It's like perfume. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Vara lays down like a dog and starts rolling. Right, in it just and... like rubs in it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I need to Keep smell like mind. the sea again, please. <laughs> Keep in mind, one of those things had its rotting phase accelerated thanks to Agrios as well. Yeah. That is true. true. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, decay. <laughs> the heart. <laughs> I was also completely serious about making a pauldron and then necklaces for everyone. Like, that is a thing that Adrasos Do is it. doing. Do it's it. Super awesome. Yeah, I like this idea. Well, I mean, you, roll, you rolled a 20 on that, so I would say you're able to produce whatever you would like okay. to produce. So. Cool. So that is one pauldron and five necklaces. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> I'll wrap the necklace around my like belt right next to the um, two bandages. 
there yeah getting a little like, we're making like a friendship bracelet <laughs> like, no, like charm so bracelets good. of various different points in our <laughs> adventure this is my charm belt is my friends <laughs> my charm oh, oh no, no that, that, that's just my charm no we have to <laughs> find uh yeah, reminds me of my find Pen- <laughs> you need to find pandora <laughs> to get proper charms there yeah <laughs> Yeah, um, just uh, never mind. I'm not gonna say anything because I know the Claire's of Theros. I know how it will be twisted already. Okay, so they bring in hammocks and set it up so that you can all get a good night's rest. Awesome. Um, uh, are you all planning to zonk out, or what's what's the what's the uh, plan of action here? What exactly does evening mean to you? If it's like bedtime, bedtime, then Vara would just it's... go to sleep. But if there's some time, then she'd like to seek out the person who she's going to be training in the morning and just kind of okay. at least meet them and here's what we're going to be doing tomorrow okay. just to try to just to try to make sure that the the vetting and training process tomorrow takes as little time as possible okay well um Eucles will take you and introduce you to Ristos Ristos, Ristos. Mm-hmm. um definitely not the sailor type um sure he's he's, he's a fisherman you know, so he's 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 moderately knowledgeable of the waters and stuff, but more from a perspective of fishing and knowing where the fish are than yeah. uh, mastering anything on a boat. So cool. Yeah, I would just kind of hi. How do you do? I'm a ship captain. Have been all my life. I'm gonna walk you through. Just kind I'm of gonna, already. I'm gonna give teach you something. <laughs> yeah. Just learn today. I'm gonna learn you. You yeah. gonna learn today. You gonna get exactly. Eddie. Exactly. So so maybe, so she'll cover all of the spoken stuff. So that way, when he wakes up tomorrow bright and early, we can just get right to the doing portion. Okay. And then she'll right. walk back and go to bed. All right. Very good. Anyone else got any uh, evening plans? Hmm. So what are we doing next? We're we're just going straight to the harbor to see what the hell's going on right here and i assume you're going on foot uh better you could commandeer the rowboats i guess but you know that we're gonna catch a couple of sharks and we're gonna ride them (laughs) yeah that sounds like jet skis (laughs) you can only find a whale oh well whale 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 Yes. Yeah, I think we're just going to walk tomorrow. I um, I guess we don't have any choice but to go there, but you know, I haven't used it yet today. I'm, I want to see if I can get a reading off of uh, whether it's a good idea for us to just walk into the harbor. We don't know what's waiting for us there. So your question is literally, is it okay is for us it, to... Is it, is it safe to go to the harbor right now? Okay. That's my question. I want to know how ready we need to be for action. All right. So, and obviously you're doing this as a ritual using your augury. As using my augury yeah, that I get for being an oracle. Yep. One moment, please. <laughs> <laughs> and your question is, is it safe to go to the harbor? You know, I probably should have worded it differently, but I don't like how many times he had to ask you. <laughs> like, <laughs> to be fair, he's done that every time. Uh-huh. That doesn't make me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> now, to be to be clear, when you cast augury, you're looking for the results of a course of action of something you're going to do in the next thirty minutes. In the next thirty minutes, you are right. You know so, what? I forgot about that. I, I didn't have it pulled up. I, I could answer that question from the lines of going to I the did harbor. Say, I did, however, say right now, which we we can't do it right now, though. 
Yeah. But so if someone no but I can answer the question, this the is harbor. why I'm being literal. I can answer yes. the question literally, but Great. I don't want to be, you know, that DM. So <laughs> even though I am that DM. So that could potentially be construed all kinds of ways. Like, well, how would you get there right now? You're going to launch yourself out of a catapult or, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Um, or is it safe me, for people there right now? I don't. <laughs> right I don't now. think it. Uh, I don't think it deals in hypotheticals. So, I guess that's true. But did you say for us, or did you say is it safe to go to the harbor? It's an action that I take. I believe in the next thirty yes. minutes. I, oh, I, don't okay. I don't think I can do it from the perspective of someone else. I forgot about that. Okay. Um. Maybe I don't ask that. Then you know what. Agrius is going to open the question. Is going to open the question to everyone else of what should he be uh, divining then? Um, as long as Tam is okay with me going back on that now that I remember exactly how it's worded. I, I, I because you're getting used to it. This was the warning. In the future, I'm just going to screw you. So. <laughs> Very fair. Very fair and understandable. Thank you. Um, okay. Yeah, Agrius will ask. Is there anything we plan to do or could do in the immediate future that we would like me to uh, ask the gods about? I feel like if, if that's the case, we should probably spend the time to rest first. Rest for the night. And if we do need to divine anything, divine something when we start moving again tomorrow, first thing in the morning. Mm. You speak sense. Very well, then. Well, I'm just going to go do some prayers. Excuse me. And he goes off somewhere uh, to go do some prayers to Mogus. Uh, having harvested a trophy from that thing, I don't think the rest of it that I didn't care about could rightly be called a sacrifice, could it? <laughs> no, not, not really. <laughs> not really. It's already dead meat, so, you know. Exactly. Um, I would probably have to hunt something new. Well, there are a few children in camp. But <laughs> at least three. So. Oh. People get so uppity about that, though. Yeah. <laughs> ah, gosh, got to protect those kids. Wonder why. Like, the question is whether I could get away with it, and I'm not very stealthy. <laughs> you only... See, there's a use for augury. Could I get away with stealing this child? <laughs> um, How well protected in this is this village kid? that I am staying the night in? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Uh... Mogus would approve. He, he probably would. Um, I mean, I'll go out a little bit out of town. Is there anything that I think I could catch? Either if, if not a fish, then, then something uh, outside of town that I could try and hunt. You're always welcome to hunt. I'm going to hunt. Okay. Let's get a survival check out of that. Very well. That is going to be a, so let's see, it is plus five, uh, 21. Well, I would say that uh, goes fairly well for hunting then. And you are able to catch a small creature. Uh, I'll let you choose what it is. Small creature, let's say, I mean, because the classic would be like a rabbit if it's small. Okay. And he will ritually sacrifice it and burn it for his prayers to Mogus. All right. Renew his blood paint. <laughs> All right. Anyone and, else? That, and then he will retire for the night. 
I'm going to catch Agrios before he goes to bed. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to, like, get you coming back in, dripping with blood. On the, way yeah. back, on the way back in, he finds a child's shoe that had gotten lost in all the excitement. So he's covered yes. in blood and comes in walking, carrying a child's shoe. You know. <laughs> Should I be concerned about that? <laughs> Not this time. I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> um, I also appreciate the fact that you jumped into a river to save me today before you knew there was something to kill. Oh, well, I, I had a good feeling. Besides, uh, you're a useful ally i think that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me and 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 if a champion of virus is to be defeated i should like to be the one to do it that sounds like a deal <laughs> that was all i just <laughs> wanted to thank you for being nice <laughs> awesome yes and then uh, agris and has to ruin it <laughs> yes, of course. No, that was that wasn't ruining it. Are you kidding? I me? wasn't being nice. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Careful, you're going to get more friendship bracelets. Um, <laughs> uh, she'll also want to find Jodrastos at some point, but I don't know if anyone else has things they're doing. Anyone else? Yes, right. I'll take first watch then. Thank you, Tikaris. You probably just find me tying the thing on to my shoulder armor. You've got it entirely crooked yet again. Come here. <laughs> Fix it a bit. So, since you made bracelets out of all the teeth, I just wonder, is this like a toothless well, jaw? Well, I mean, I'm assuming they're extra teeth. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, I mean, if it's a shark that's <laughs> mouth, there's a lot of teeth in there. There are. There's two rows. <laughs> um... <laughs> um uh yeah so she'll um uh, address us or i know the other day presented some difficult information talking about the questions you asked oh gross i know what Ogros? you're talking about or or orcos or orcos both orcos both both um uh so are you all right. You've been very quiet today. <laughs> like you weren't here half the time. <laughs> you can see Adrasos like opens his mouth to say something and just stops. I can't let it affect you. So no but it will not affect my ability to perform for the team okay. and i would prefer we do not push that further and i will look at you pointedly in a way that i haven't done in years all right you know i am here if you need anything I well done on the shark thank you i am going to go Apologize to Ptolemaeus for being afraid of water. For making fun of him for being afraid of water. Don't mind me. <laughs> and she will go find Tolly. Just making your rounds. <laughs> making my rounds of thanks and apologies and check-ins. Make them away. Uh, so, uh, Ptolemaeus. Um, uh, just real uh, quick. Are we alone right now? Probably. I, I probably oh, it depends on what you're doing. If you're in the house with in the boathouse with everybody, unless you're like yeah. sitting by the river. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sitting by the river. No. Um. Yeah. Definitely. Probably in the. He's sitting on the yeah. dock of the bay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll follow you. I, I'll probably be at the boathouse. Okay. I'll, I I I wouldn't necessarily need to pull you aside, but if you were so, if there's other people in there, there's other people in there. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Ptolemaeus, I do apologize for my earlier statement as someone who also nearly drowned today. Um, and uh, I should not have dealt with your fear with such levity. Well, 
to be fair, the water levels were a little bit different from when you had to deal with it versus what I had to deal with. Regardless, uh, I, you have clearly been facing your fears with the plum, and you have my gratitude for your understanding and my admiration for your strength. There's, I appreciate that. I personally don't think there's any strength involved, but um, yeah. Regardless, I think the biggest thing that, the biggest takeaway from all of this, and you almost drowning in it, and that is the fact that we can trust each other to have our backs. You can, might not be a fighter, but I'll still help out in my own way. I never doubted it. And give you a much too hard slap on the shoulder and uh, <laughs> go find a hammock. <laughs> and go find it. <laughs> go find another person. Just like, yep. <laughs> One of these days, I swear. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's like five red hand marks on my back already. <laughs> I'll just walk away. <laughs> Those are all the rounds I need to do today. <laughs> all right. All right. Anyone else? If not, I'm going to move on to Tikaros uh, taking watch. All right. Tikaros, where are you going to take watch from? I assume everybody's yeah. sleeping in the boathouse in the provided hammocks. And centaur slings. I assume there's something for centaurs to sleep in. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I would probably sit outside the door of the boathouse. I mean, does okay. it have any windows or anything? Yes, it well? it has windows around it. Uh, it's actually going to have a a second floor that's just kind of a, a loft around it. You know, stairs around and open um, that leads out onto a balcony, and then you have the dock outside as well cool all right well she would actually split her time then she would start outside the front door trying to be all serious and watchful get a little bored probably do like a perimeter probably look at the roof and try to climb up and get a better vantage point at one point she would just kind of move around all right. doing little looks and checks all right very good give me a perception check please I'm so good at these. <laughs> yeah. Oh, not too bad. No modifier. 14 on the dice. All right. Um, as you are keeping an eye out and looking around, it just seems quiet. Uh, most of the people in, in the village have, have gone to rest. Um, the breeze blows the the sails on the ship and kind of ruffles them. They're tied up, but, you know, you kind of get that ruffle in there. And you hear a few seabirds going up. And, uh, again, there were dead fish. Uh, you hear a few splashes out in the water, presumably whatever has made its way in from the bay that is enjoying this uh, fresh water fish feast. But nice. for the rest of it, it's pretty quiet. All right, now I'm sleepy. <laughs> so i will go inside the birdhouse and i am gonna remembering the last time i woke agrius up i got kicked and i just barely moved out of the way so i'm gonna go up to his head away from the legs <laughs> and just gently you know what i'm gonna do is speak into his mind agrius wake up wake up and that way I don't actually have to get close. I'm or about 10 feet away. <laughs> Agrius. Agrius, I'm curious what your dream was that was interrupted by suddenly Tikaros uh, appearing in it. Well, it was actually in this village. And he had just finished sacrificing a child. And it got away with it because all the houses were on fire. Um... And then he hears this voice going, wake up, wake up. And, ah, 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 oh, 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 o
you woke me from a wonderful dream. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. But I'm really sleepy. Can you do a watch? Uh, watch. We're in the middle of town. All right. <laughs> it's important. I'll sit with you, Agrios. Adrastos, who has not been sleeping, says. Mm. Very well, then. And I will curl up and go to sleep somewhere close to Tolly and Vara, probably. All right. <laughs> so, Agrios, Adrastos, uh, where are you keeping watch? We are in town, Agrios. I figured it would be all right. If you'd like, we can just spar. <laughs> spar right now. Sounds great. A little light sparring by moonlight. So I will, um, yeah, just put my shield and stuff on the ground. Be like, all right. Weapons if you'd like, but it's all the same to me. So is this is this bromance occurring inside the boathouse? No. <laughs> I actually go outside. Yeah, we go we outside. are we are large gentlemen. If we did this yes, inside the boathouse, yes. we would destroy it. <laughs> that is my concern, yes. <laughs> all right, yeah. Then uh Agrius is going to spar with Adrastos. Um, do we talk about anything while we do this, or are we just going to go at it? Um. Well, gosh, buy me a drink first, please, Agrius. Um, <laughs> no, no, that's I, not how Agrius does things. I don't uh, think Adrastos is particularly interested in talking right now. Okay. But if you yeah, wanted right. to talk to him about anything, he'd be receptive. He's just, he's not going to be the first one to talk. I, I have to share what Ptolemaeus posted in our team, mm -hmm. our game chat. Yep. Alexa, play Bella Note. <laughs> I love it. Someone get the spaghetti. <laughs> we, yeah, we, we got it. We got it. We got a cat and a centaur, you know, sparring. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying. Uh, oh god. <laughs> um but at okay. one point um Adrastos is going to kind of lose himself in the fight a little. Yes. And after a particularly good punch, he's just going to say, "Come on, Crassus, finish what you started." And then he's going to like <clears throat> Sorry. Don't be sorry. Give in. And then just, yeah. <laughs> and I need both of you to give me stealth rolls, please. <laughs> oh. Adorable. I'm going to say I did take my armor off, so I won't get disadvantage, but I don't have stealth or a dexterity modifier. Which means I rolled a six. That's okay. You did better than me. I got a four. <laughs> so, uh, along with the yelling uh, of Crassus's name, uh, you see as uh, lights, lanterns begin to light up throughout the town as your raucous noise and yelling has awoken most of the villagers who are coming out uh, somewhat angrily, some armed, uh, trying to find out what the noise is and, and what's going on. Yes, Ptolemaeus. I would like to think that Tikros, Vara, and I, and Ariana are used to this, and none of us are awake. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else agrees with me, but... <laughs> I don't know. Ariana might react to hearing the name Crassus. I was gonna say, I feel like Ariana might be, just because they've traveled together, and I don't know, I might be wrong about this, but I feel like Adrastos has nightmares sometimes, and Ariana has gotten you used are... to... Absolutely right. In his, like, this is a thing, and I wanted to discuss it with you <laughs> off camera, but since we're here, in his early life, he had night terrors. Perfect. This. 
Yes. So she's she's like she's used to waking up to that exact mm. shout, probably. So she's probably woken up and is like wondering what's going on and looking. I'm sorry. All I can see is the video of the kitten that's having the nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, Thank you for no. compartmentalizing my trauma into a meme, Tam. Or a You're baby. Welcome. <laughs> that's why I, that is literally why I'm here. Exactly. Memes and cat videos. Yep. Memes and cat yep. videos. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Uh so, but yeah, she'll probably kind of if you guys are close enough by, she'll probably actually like get up and come out and make sure everyone's okay. All right. So you not saying he probably just lean against the boathouse for a bit and watch, but <laughs> Mara is so totally asleep. She's <laughs> yeah, she's just conked out, dude. All right. If someone actively tries to wake her, she'll wake up. But if it's just like noise going on around her, like she's lived on ships, like jump, it's nothing. She's just she's sleepy. All right. I figure at this point, I don't know if Adrastos would have uh, gone claws out on this after being told to lose himself in it. Um, uh, no. But no, not claws out. No, like he he would have had that when he yelled finish what you started the claws would be out for a second but then he would retract them and even okay. now he is still he's like giving in more to like being angry and punching but he is punching why are you holding back i i'm not this is the best i can give to a comrade i don't want to kill you agrios and i don't want you, you to kill me right now you but you're getting faster, so you'll probably kill me soon. You didn't call me Agrius. You called me Crassus. Well, too many legs and not enough horns to be him, I'm afraid. Hmm. But when you're angry enough, you can't discern friend from foe. I know how that is. I won't let it happen again. When the pain comes, is when you come back to your senses. The truly blissful are the ones who never learn to discern between them again. You'll have to tell me more about Mogus sometime, Agrios. Hmm. I think he and I might have more in common than I thought. Hmm. It could be. Anyway, I think our watch is done, and we seem to have woken up half the town, so... Uh, I'd prefer to sleep in a bed than in irons. Mm. Yes. Comparing my experiences of the two, bed, better. Well, like I said, you're getting faster. Before long, you're going to put us both into an early grave. <laughs> That is a better than growing old and simply snuffing out. That's gross. Of all the things you've ever said to me, that might be the one that's made the most sense. <laughs> I would appreciate it if you both survived the night, though. When did you wake up? Something between the shouting and the loud smacking of meat. Uh. You, uh, you attuned to the sound of smacking meat there, Ariana? I've grown up in a, a lot of barracks. Hmm. You Whatever you need to tell yourself. <laughs> you spend I'll... enough time in a, in a Minotaur tribe, you get used to it. Oh, I didn't say I wasn't used to it. It just, you know. Wakes you up sometimes. Well. <clears throat> I think our watch has ended, Agrios. Indeed. And I should probably try to sleep. <laughs> what, is happening? what the hell is happening? We have descended into <laughs> Like I, I can't believe it, Sam. I fully. 
Uh, okay, that's fair. You started this. I probably did. <laughs> uh, Ariana will also uh, follow to the boathouse and go back to her hammock and sleep. <laughs> As the sound dies down a bit and the townspeople finish their grumbling and anger. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so Ariana will give like an apologetic like wave once they've walked back in. One, guy, just... one guy's making a new sign that says no noise after 10 p.m. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the next morning I'm going to take that sign. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you hear something and it, it's hard to, to make it out at first. But you hear a voice. Excuse me. Hello? 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 And uh, you realize it seems to be coming from the other side of the river. What? A look? Um, Adrastos, what do your cat eyes see? <laughs> Tikaros? Uh, Ptolemaeus? I will go in and wake them up. I'm going to go to the river and look across and see yep. who it is. Agrios yeah, is river. also going to go to the river and look across. Okay. In the moonlight, you see a figure standing on the other side. It's Prime. And he's waving something in his hand. And upon seeing Agrios. Agrios step out, he goes, Agrios, I, I have your horn. Ah. Um, it's been repaired okay. then. Well, yes. I wouldn't have brought it if it was broken. Glorious. He holds out a hand. Uh, he's on the other side of the across, river, and he's like, he's across the river. Do, you, "Do you want me oh. to throw it?" Okay. And oh no! 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 no, no, no. <laughs> I will throw you. Uh, is the bridge still? In, is the bridge intact? No, the bridge was torn apart in order to make the blockade no, for okay, the water. The bridge wheel. got. Torn apart. There is no right. Boat. Of course, that's right. Um, we have to get in a boat. Tikaros runs rocks, out. Oh, the rocks were also moved, right? Uh huh. There's no way across. The rowboats. Okay. The rowboats. We can row him across. And she jumps into a rowboat, expectantly waiting for someone to come with her. <laughs> <clears throat> the grass is going to go back to sleep. <laughs> Ariana will look. <laughs> Skeptical of the water at first, but then hop in and uh, we'll grab it for you, Agrios. <laughs> Paddle across. Mm -hmm. So you row across the water. I mean, right. there's a bit of a current to fight, but it's n it's not unlike any other river. It's it's not bad. And yeah, uh, I will get into the boat. And, oh, thank you. Um, I've never actually been in a boat before. Um, New is experience. It, is it is it safe? Yeah, as safe as anything. Okay. You walked through a forest to get here. A tree could have fallen on you. Bro. Oh, I that's Bro. True. Oh, you're a boat. <laughs> now, now he's all pondering the, the mysteries of trees. <laughs> but yes. the tree had fallen on me and no one was there. <laughs> Neither would so, you be. <laughs> that's so deep, Prime. <laughs> uh, we will get to the other side. Uh, Pr Prime, you came all this way just to bring Agrios's horn. Well, I I, I also have a, a message from um from here, and you find it, and it's from Alidas and Dracos, and it is a note saying, uh, "Please be sure to check in occasionally. Uh, let us know how you're doing. We sent Prime along with this. If you have any message to send back to us, you can either send it via." Bubo or Prime. Um, and then there's, it's like there was a, a pause because you can tell the ink colors kind of a little different of what's going on. Um, something odd has happened with the river. Is everything okay where you're at? Uh, um, yes, Prime, we will send a message back with you. Um, 
Is there room hmm. on the back of the paper? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there is. Perfect. Uh, so, okay, you'll send it back with me. All right. Or, did you want to come adventuring with us? Well, I obviously hoped that, but my instructions are clear that if you have, if you've, oh. you know, already gotten on the boat to, to just come back. Uh, but if you haven't sailed yet to stay with you for, I don't know. It's, I'm a little confused now because yeah. I've gotten in the boat. So I don't know whether I'm supposed to go or stay. Ariana, he should come with us. Well, I suppose that's fine. Um, I don't see a problem with that. And I don't, I'm going to assume that uh, Aletus Aleda, didn't anticipate there being an additional boat. I'm going to assume he meant the dolphin. Well, he didn't really state so, but I'm sure logically that's correct. <clears throat> I would agree. Um, so in that case, we need to wait for Bubo to get back. Or is he there with Prime? No, nope, he's not with Prime. Okay. Um, Agrios is raising his hand, so I think he's does got Agrios something. Have his, does Agrios have his horn back yet? Uh, yeah, he would have given it to you. <laughs> he's standing there like... <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I see uh, Prime uh, trying to get out, and Agrios okay. reaching his hand down, and Prime right. thinks he's trying to give him a hand out of the boat. Uh, <laughs> and Agrios, Agrios grabs take, the horn. <laughs> Agrios takes it, looks so happy, and then you just see him go... <gasps> and you have a moment to stop him. <laughs> Uh, oh, do you do you like put yeah, out exactly. that number? <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> you have already woken up most of the town tonight. Oh. Right. Town. First thing in the morning, you can wake everybody up. All right. Ah. <laughs> he puts it away for now. <laughs> he is going to make good on that. Oh, I, I absolutely. Yeah. Ariana's an early riser. It doesn't bother her. <laughs> All right. Well, I think this is a good place to stop for this evening. Uh